Hello, everyone. Welcome to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candle Keep Mysteries module with a few additions sprinkled in here and there. My name is Buddy, and I'm helming this adventure uh, while our normal Saturday night game, Cold Hard Witch, is on hiatus. If you've joined us for our other version, our other adventures into Candle Keep, you might notice some old faces and some new faces. Let's see who we have tonight. We have Rodney playing Cesar, the Human Tempest Cleric. Pike playing Bertram, the Half-Orc Paladin Monk. Mama Distracted playing Keed Aridni, the Centaur Star Druid. Evadaris, who is playing Alexander, the Half-Elf Spirit Bard. And sadly, Careless's player, Jade, is feeling under the weather and won't be with us tonight. Uh, but we press on and we go for that total party kill. Last time. Our band of adventurers made camp on the side of the road and witnessed some very unusual effects. Uh, meteors changing course in the sky, slowly tracing lazy lightning that changed colors as it crossed the night sky, and a rolling wave of silence that spread throughout the land. They met some of the townsfolk of Greenfast and heard stories of people leaving to join groups of strange sycophants or being forced to leave or even just up and disappearing. They went to Farrell's house to get more information from him about these disappearances, but only found his farmhands, who were actually hired mercenaries. Being unwilling to talk, the farmhands set a battle into motion where their party was also confronted by a strange-looking creature called Anothic. An unnatural stinging rain began, and they took shelter uh, in the bulging cauldron. Um... Everyone, uh, the, the night passed uneventfully and everyone got their long rest, but when you woke up this morning, uh, Carolus was nowhere to be found. Uh, the, simply laying on the floor was the, uh, the book, uh, Sarah of Yellowcrest Manor that you had taken from Candlekeep, and a, a handwritten note, uh, written in very fancy flourishes, and it just says... I've got some genie stuff to do. I'll be back. Carolus. And his name actually takes up like more than a third of the whole page. Uh, like he spent more time probably on his name than on the rest of the letter. Uh, so I will let you guys have a brief interlude about that before we press forward. Well, we, we know it's real, but it's definitely his handwriting. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Somebody could have stolen him. Who They're would snuck. want Carolus? <laughs> um, maybe maybe he got scared and ran away. Or someone heard he was a genie and wanted some wishes. I, I don't know. But or this... maybe he got a better paying gig and we get his cut now. I like this idea. Let's go yeah. with this idea. I'll pick up the book and put it in one of my bags. Okay. I, uh, I mean, I know that you have to be present to win at our giveaway. I would assume you'd have to be present at Candlekeep when you turn in the mission to get the pay. It's true. Hmm. Um, we're going to just skip ahead here just a little bit. Um, you, you you guys learned about a tower that uh, that Lord Vialis had been having renovated to become his, his new home, his new summer home. And... Um, Old Fargo is able to give you some directions on how to get there. Um, by the morning, this the unnatural rain uh, has stopped and everything seems to be normal again. And you uh, you travel a couple of hours down uh, down these small kind of winding roads until you uh, until you get to the crumbling remains of a tower. Um, amid a grove of gnarled scrub trees, it's 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 somewhat in disrepair. It hasn't fully fallen over, but it it has seen better days. There are rough workers' tents and piles of timber and tools scattered about that show the site appears to have been under reconstruction, but very little headway seems to have been made in restoring the tower to anything resembling its former glory. I mean, this is obviously a trap, right? Probably. Well, look, 
look around to see are there any footprints recent footprints like near the tools and whatnot sure why don't you roll me a perception check please uh it was an 11. <laughs> i don't know that six looks pretty good um even with an 11 i will tell you that which is not high but that's how poorly this the secret is, is hidden um the the tools and the signs of construction appear to be largely spurious um the timbers that they might have been using to shore up and help rebuild the tower are they're old they they've been there maybe for a couple of years just just kind of lying there on the ground uh you can see on the, the ones on the bottom are actually beginning to rot a little bit uh the tools themselves are rusted the tents show signs of some recent occupation uh, but there are no personal effects. Um, everyone roll a perception for me as well, if you would. Eleven. That's, um, a seven. Mm. <laughs> and a ten for That's Cesar. A ten. Mm. That's a ten. <laughs> Uh, Alexander, are you going to pull the group out of the mire? We're so good. Oh, hey, I didn't realize uh, I needed to roll again. I thought uh, my I'm... first one was going to be it, but sure, let's try. Nope. <laughs> it's an 11 again. Nope. <laughs> I'm looking for some uh, thorny vines, I guess, some blackberry bushes or whatever. You know, I get I get it now why he would come here to make her home. Like, it it makes sense, you know. Well, and uh, this is me being the uh, kind and generous uh, DM who normally plays on Sundays. Um, and even, I'll say with an 11, it's quiet. It's You, you say, yeah, I see why you'd want to be here. It's quiet. It's, it's very quiet. It is deathly quiet. Too quiet? I am going to go ahead and activate my ambulance of <laughs> detect thoughts and just see if I can get any thoughts that are not ours in the general area. Let me see for uh, detect presence within 30 feet of me. As long as there's no uh, copper around really blocking me. Is copper the uh, the thing? Two that feet it? of two feet of rock, two inches of any metal other than lead, or a thin sheet of lead blocks me from penetrating the barrier. Gotcha. You don't notice anyone other than than your party. Um. It um. Bertram, you you feel like. It's as though it was the night that you and Farrell were talking on watch and the the silence rolled over you, except yeah. that you can you can hear each other. You can hear noises that you're making, but out in the local surroundings there, there's no insects. There seems to be no animal life. there making noises. Um, it's just it's just quiet. All right. Well, I don't want to just stand around just waiting for for something that I think we need to keep going. Okay. Wait, going inside? Uh, I mean, that's where we believe Vialis is, correct? Yeah. Yes. Most likely. I mean, everyone says he's been renovating this place so it makes sense he would be in there renovating this place all right uh are there in, stairs unless there, we have a way likely. to draw them out but i can't think of anything uh there are not if you uh you you make your way around the side of the tower and you do see a door um it is closed hold on i'm gonna put everyone on Hey, we got a that map. map. Um, 
the um, the door is is currently closed. Hmm. I would like to roll stealth because we're about to go into a very dangerous place. I feel like. Sure. Yeah. Anyone who would like to, please make a stealth roll. A dirty twenty. Yeah. You. Uh, you. You. You suddenly. Uh, oh. You know what I should do is take Carolus off of that map. Oh. Bye, Carolus. Bye, buddy. <laughs> oh, your buddy. You're still I'm, here. Never mind. I'm still here. I hope. Um. um while everyone. Can I so to not impose my my uh inability to be stealthy? Can I like try and be the attention that's trying to open the door while everyone? You're else fine. Stealth? I've already rolled a nine on my stealth. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Keith? Are you going to even try for stealth? Or you're. Uh... Um. I'm trying to find uh something real quick. Uh, I'm actually going to wild shape. Ooh. into um jesus christ <laughs> no no that won't help us at all uh, uh, just so folks out there are clear that was cesar stealth roll he ended up with a five and an 18 i'm guessing you have a disadvantage stealth roll because I have of armor disadvantage because of my armor yes there you go <laughs> yikes um i can't find the uh list of animals to weld shape into um squirrel and uh chipmunk um, rabbit t-rex um pretty no, much any small rodent you, you could choose i think i can be bigger than a small rodent though you for sure be a rodent <laughs> i don't want to be a rodent um i guess i'll be a dog of some sort what dog Chihuahuas are pretty much rodents. <laughs> Why do you want me to be a rodent? <laughs> it's hopefully your stealth check is better than everyone else's. That's what's going on. Okay. Uh, stealth check. Right here it is. 16. 16. Okay. Uh, what did you shape into? Um, I shaped into a um, dog, a uh, Rottweiler. Oh, okay. Appearance. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, everyone just pretend that her token is a Rottweiler because I am a bad DM and did not get any wild shape tokens ready. Uh, okay. So we've got a, a dog. Is someone moving quite as a whisper? And then uh, a monk that normally moves quiet as a whisper, and then Cesar just clanking it up and, and embracing that. Clanking along. <sighs> uh, okay, the uh, there's a closed door in front of you. I mean, Alexander, you were the one who suggested stealth. I was about to knock on it, so do you have anything you would like to do? <laughs> I mean... We went to a place, they tried to fight us. When we initially tried to talk to Feral, Red Hat Man, mm -hmm. they attacked us. So I'm just trying to be preemptive and like get the sneak attack on them this time around instead of them thinking, oh, we're going to fuck some people up today. That's, that's really all I'm trying to do. So let's just, and I'll slowly push the door open. Uh, yeah, it is. It is not locked, and um, even though the rest of the tower is kind of ramshackle, it it actually is fairly quiet uh, as it opens. It, kind of amazingly so. Um, let me get my reveal tool. Who's ever renovating this place is doing an excellent job with this door. I heard nothing. Yeah. So you. Uh, you push the door open. And um, what you see in front of you is a, is a stone wall. And it, it curves to the left and to the right, kind of following the line of, of the structure. Um, uh, 
What's everyone's thoughts? Well, you can detect them. <laughs> <laughs> it only lasts for a minute, so it's oh, probably okay. gone by now. Yeah, it's gone by now. Well, we're not getting face sanded out here, so yeah. I'm uh, going to sniff around. What do I smell? I guess. Um, roll me a perception, a, a doggy perception, a good boy perception. Uh, Seven. I'm somebody, not a good boy. Somebody had stepped in some poop at one point, and it's extremely interesting. You don't want it to be, but the dog of you is like, oh, yeah, oh yeah, I know that guy. I'm for going sure. to follow. I'm going to follow the trail of the smell then. Uh, okay. It uh, it's it's Cesar. <laughs> Sorry, I set I set you up and had nowhere to go, so I had to uh, I had to backtrack a little. <laughs> No, no, I scrape that off. Get that. Alexander, did you want to take the lead, or I don't mind stepping in first. I'm already yeah. in. I, I, I'm in. I'm in. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't fight hand to hand. I, I, I'll pull out tarot and just kind of shuffle. Yeah, like, you got. This the is what I do. All right, let's go. All right, <laughs> Cesar, let's move. Yep, but I'm ready to. Ready to... The first and last line of defense. Just giving you a little bit more that you can see there, Cesar. Uh, yeah, and so the it, it seems as though it can it's like as I said a curved wall that continues to the the left and the right uh, as you're viewing it. Uh, well, Cesar, uh, left or right? Pooh, well. I already lost me left hand, so why don't we go right? <laughs> Fair That's enough. That's what the logic we go with. <laughs> I'll step over to the right and follow up. <laughs> further, a look or further around this corner here. I will follow in. You guys remember the? Maybe it was even the last game where I was really mad at myself for doing things with uh, curves. Yeah, I'm uh, still, I'm still mad at myself for that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All D and D towers should just be made square. <laughs> uh, it it curves around, but it looks as though that this may be the end of it here, where I'm running my ping. That actually seems okay. like that might be the the edge of that inner wall. Then there's nothing that we can see beyond that. I'm gonna move up closer so I can actually take a okay. look at it. But yeah, that's that'll be that'll be fine right there. So. You um, you can actually see a pretty good ways in. If this is like um, a corner, yeah, as you, then I'm gonna stop as right you, on that corner. Yeah, as you as you round the corner, around. you see a, a figure um standing at what looks to be a, a an altar of some kind. Um, okay. let me give you. There's just a little bit more here that you can see that's importante for the description. Um, there is a uh, you can't kind of see what's happening, but there's a there's a large crystal uh, just in front of of the altar, um, and you hear a bit of a crackling noise, and then maybe uh. just some some low kind of chanting. Uh, and then uh, be and beyond them, there looks looks like there's a set of stairs that go down. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and use a divine sense to see if I can detect any good or evil in this room. Uh, anything hollowed, celestials, fiends, undead, that kind of stuff. So is it? It's about the creature type, not about the alignment. Correct. Uh, and tell me what they are again. Celestials, fiends, or undead? Uh, the tasty undead. Yeah, celestials, fiends, or undead. Anything within 60 feet. Uh, you do not pick up any of those three items. Okay. Okay. 
Um... Currently, uh, this guy has not has not noticed you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna like wave back. Hey, they're right there. I like turn around to look at <laughs> to, <laughs> to look at Cesar, <laughs> and like Keith's like right here. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, there's a guy in the hood. He's at an altar. There's a crystal. Is, is this the doing. universal sign for crystal? It's <laughs> the best I could come up with. <laughs> it's, yeah, like, a, like, a, like a crystal thing. Yeah, it's right in Jay-Z. Okay. <laughs> we should take him out. I, I only saw one. I am going to um, slink past. Um, you and your clip clops? I am not <laughs> in my dog. The dog right now. Okay. Dog. okay, okay. <laughs> in her clip clops. You and your clip clops. <laughs> oh my. Um. Uh, I am. I am a, currently a dog shape, resembling a Rottweiler. But I am going to slip past Bertram, mm -hmm. kind of like get down on my bed. You know those videos of dogs where you've seen them crouch down, dragging their bellies across the floor, but crawling forward. Uh, it's just like that. I do when I come home drunk. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you I'm know those natural born hunters, <laughs> the dog. <laughs> um uh, yeah, so move uh move your token to where you'd like to be and I'll uh give you some more reveal. I'm going to be, is I'm going to get my sling out and just like have it. Is there a wall right here? Because I'm along the wall and I'm following it like around here. Uh, there's not a wall there. That was just the edge of, of uh, Bertrand's sight line. Oh, okay. I'm following along the wall. So wherever I see a wall, I'm okay. going to, I guess, follow then, along. Then, then what we'll do, I'll just give you the... Um, He's right at the edge. And so you can actually see that there are two of those guys, two altars, two crystals, and maybe it's, it's, there's some sort of energy field. And one of those creatures that um, the mercenary told you guys was called a Nothic uh, seems to be trapped in the field. Or maybe he's emerging from the field. It's it's a little bit hard to say at the moment. Okay, hold on just a second. Let's see. Um speed is 40. I'm going to move a little bit closer. Oh, I'm wrong one. I'm going to move to about right there. Can they see me? Uh, well, it depends on what you roll on your stealth check. All right. That's a 19 plus 2, so a 21. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, they seem to be focused on... Uh, they've got like a little bit of parchment in front of them, and the, the, the muttering sound... They seem to be reading a passage of it, maybe over and over, and they seem to be currently really focused on that. Um, okay. Get, give me a perception check. Perception. Do you want the dog perception uh, check? Because I found it finally. Yeah, I think that you you run your checks as the sh the creature you're wall shaped into, right? Except for yeah. your like your intelligence and things like that, because you're a druid. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, and their passive perception is thirteen. So, uh, would you like to not roll? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if that'll if that passes well enough, I mean, I mean otherwise I can. Sure. I mean, it's, it's all, it's all pass fail. It's all relative, you know? Um, 
you um you see across with your 13 to kind of you see the the what must be the edge of the uh the curveball on the other side but you're focused on on not uh not making any noise and staying hidden from these guys momentarily mhm mm okay um what's the rest of the party doing i am trying to determine if they are summoning this nothic or if they're trying to hold it captured like captive Ooh. like would disrupting the field banish the nothic or would it release the nothic into the room i'm trying to just scope out what they're what kind of ritual they're doing and roll a, that out. roll a perception check uh you've got uh yeah just roll a perception oh it's so bad uh five total you think that that crystal would make a really cool necklace got it <laughs> uh with a, with a five you're unable to uh yeah i'm gonna start moving closer as long as these guys are not paying attention and being as sneaky stealthy as possible uh okay please roll a stealth check yeah oh lord bertram <laughs> Uh, rolled another two, so that's another total of five. Yeah, the, it, like a, a a bit of um, just kind of general debris that you c watched Keed stealthily and deftly move around and not like knock over. And she kind of looked back at you to say, "Watch this." As she moved on, yeah, you just like full footed tumble right into it. Um, and As I kick that, can I launch my sling bolt like bullet across the room so it makes a, a noise on the other side of the room as well? Yeah, ping for me where you'd like it to go. Yeah, I'm just going to chuck this thing. I'm going to kick this rock, realize it done screwed up, and then whatever is over here. Okay. Make it sound like something's coming from that direction. Uh, okay. The... Uh... I I'm, I mean I like how this is playing out. I'm not even gonna make you roll anything for it, mostly because I don't know what it would be. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that that happens, and you quick as a whip throw that thing out. Um, and what you unfortunately see, since you, uh, I'm thinking about the the way that you would you would move. Um, just getting a bunch of stuff opened up over here. Um. You see, oh lord, a holy shit, big motherfucker Gun up, sons. over there, and um, it is. Um, I'll, I'll give you the description, but no one else knows how horrifying this is yet. Uh, this is a, a huge, hulking, ogre like form. Uh, it has translucent skin that glistens, and you through the skin see a very muscled form. Uh, you don't notice any of the fat that would be on an ogre. He has pale, lidless eyes, and they glare balefully at you with a, with a face that has maybe too many teeth and maybe not enough nose. You hear a, a guttural, kind of almost echoing laugh as uh, as it watches you do that. And... Unfortunately, my friends, Jesus Christ, it oh. is time to roll that initiative. No, I'm gonna like turn, turn, turn back, turn back to Cesar and be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> now, hold on, you said he's got zero percent body fat. Now, that's impressive. <laughs> that's not uh, healthy. <laughs> healthy. <laughs> it depends on what you are. Maybe for an ogre, that's like. Eat a cheeseburger. Oh, I rolled my manual initiative. Not, I forgot that we do this. Uh, that's okay. You can uh, click yourself and roll again, and then just change your number. I rolled a twenty-one total. Is it rolling? I can't tell oh, if it's rolling. For once, I'm. It rolled. Uh, yeah, oh, it I'm rolled. not last. I I'm last of the party this time around, but I'm oh, not dead God. last. All right. Okay. Um. Oh boy. 
sort descending. Uh, all right, so Bertram with a uh, with a uh, twenty-one. My my guess is your dex is probably slightly higher than the dog dex. Okay. Um, my dex is higher than the dog dex. Is that what your question is? Uh, no, no. What is your dog's dexterity? Uh, I'm seeing if Bertram is is uh, higher. Dog Dex is uh, fourteen plus two. Okay, okay, so it's you're both you're both sixteen. So you guys just decide between you who would like to go first. Uh, if you want to go first, sure. Okay. Uh, All right, Bertram. Um, man. Uh. Uh, I want to try to shut down this little ritual they got going down over here first. Okay. Yeah, Can I mean, I do it. Do it there. before you before you die. Yeah. So <laughs> I can make it there. I'm gonna run over toward this thing, and that crystal that I saw. That was so pretty. I'm gonna try to grab that crystal and disrupt whatever this gate is. Well, okay, so uh, move back to where you were and let me give you a little more of the description now that you're into where you can see it. Um, you're, you're making this plan in your head. You've just seen this whatever the hell it is kind of uh, up, up above you. Yes. You think you're going to go get that crystal. Um, and then you see that the crystal is about three feet in diameter, and it's about six feet tall. Got it. Um, not I will, pocket I, sized. Not pocket sized. Um, I will say that the 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 guys in the with the hoods have 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 noticed you, but are continuing their uh, their recitation and maybe okay. even speeding it up a little bit. In that case, instead of trying to grab the crystal, I'll try to disrupt it by just knocking this guy the heck out. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to unload some hits against this guy and hopefully try to stun him. Okay. Act. Uh, 19 to hit. 19 hits. That's 8 uh, bludgeoning and minus eight. I will spend the key point for a stunning strike. Uh, hold on. I'm sorry. I've got to get his stats pulled up. Uh, that's what does that save on that, sir? Uh, con save DC 14. DC 14 con save. Sorry, I he is the only one I did not have pulled up. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be super good. Uh, it's a seven. Seven. He's been stunned. Stunned until the end of your next turn. My next turn. Correct. Yeah. Which means the rest of the attacks this round are at advantage. Although, uh, did stunning him disrupt this ritual at all? Uh, too soon to tell. Because we're it. still in the the turn uh anything else for you sir i still have more attacks oh <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame a guy for trying yep. <laughs> um 21 to hit on that one yeah so that is another nine points of damage and we will unarm strike him with a natural 19 that's that hit as well yep. For another nine points of damage. Man, Fist of Fury up in here. Yeah, non-lethal damage. If he uh, happens to go down, but gotcha. Uh are you there that you have more? No, I'm not Flurry of Blowsing this the okay. second, but uh look that up, kids. It's a verb. Flurry of Blowsing. Um, flurry of Blowsing. <laughs> hashtag flurry of Blowsing. Uh <clears throat> instantly. This guy seems to be bloodied and 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 very surprised that you're able to 
uh, deliver so much damage in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Um, Just beating him over the head with a literal stick. <laughs> uh, anything else for you, sir? No, that's it. I'm good. Keed. Okay, so I... My plan is to run at the uh, the guy that was just stunned, jump off of him, pushing him into the crystal to knock the crystal over. Okay. So like a you said bull the, rush type deal. Yeah, sorta. Okay, which uh, one? Is, which which one are you gonna try to to do that with? Uh, the one that just got stunned. Okay, so you're going to push one. him o over the altar and into the crystal. Or into the altar to not... Is the altar made of stone? Uh, no, it seems to be a wood a wood altar. Okay, so pushing him into the altar using my weight, the person's weight, and the weight of the altar to knock the crystal over. Okay. Maybe the most complicated series of thoughts I've had to think about in this game. Uh, yeah. How knows? Uh, make... Make whatever roll you think you're going to make on that. <laughs> an attack roll? Make an attack roll. An attack roll. Okay, uh, he so, is stunned, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. What is... This chart is so hard so to are read. They, are, uh, what are his disadvantages there, being stunned? Uh, I believe attack rolls are uh, made at advantage. Ad adv that's what I was thinking as well. So please make an attack roll at advantage. Okay, and for the chart I'm seeing, it is a plus three. Oh, you know, how about do do an athletics, an athletics for the shove? That's what you're really athletics? trying to do. Athletics. Yeah. Okay, and um, let's see, what's the athletics on this dog? Strength, Dex, Con. It's a, dex. it's athletics is a strength is a strength uh, thing. So if he doesn't have it specifically, it's whatever your strength mod is. So uh, it's a plus one for the strength on the dog. Okay. So that is, I'm just going to roll a d20 plus one. Yep. Right? At advantage. And so roll it twice. Wow. What do okay. I do? Well. Not jump? <laughs> Um, so, so here's something interesting. A, a shove attack automatically uh -huh. succeeds if the target is incapacitated. He's not incapacitated, though. Uh, stunned, it, it, he's incapacitated as part of a stun. Oh, okay. So yeah, st then... stun creatures are incapacitated. They automatically fail strength and dex saves, and attack rolls have advantage against them. Have it, But a shove succeeds, period. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. You, uh, you, you kind of get your, almost your feet against the wall and, and do a, a super launch and just kind of bowl him over and into the table. And the two of them hit the crystal. And, um, I'm going to do a high low thing here. Um, the crystal does move, but it does not fall over. Uh, so you actually manage to. To shove him into the crystal and or him into the table and the table into the crystal. And so everything does move over a little bit. Um the gate sputters a little or the, the, the energy kind of sputters a little bit, uh, but nothing specifically has changed just yet. There still seems to be a Nothic either being held or emerging from it. Anything else? I think that's all I can do in this doggy form. Okay. Without dropping shape. Cesar, everybody was in just stealth arama mode, and Bertrand kicked a rock and then threw it across the room, and then he and Keed both just, just engaged. They're just off to the races, and you can't quite see what's happening but you know you you have heard the uh the fury of bertram's stick on many occasions and and you know what somebody's noggin getting stick whacked sounds like <laughs> yeah uh, 
<laughs> I I leave. I give him some privacy. <laughs> do you? Do you? You salty pirate. Um, I'm like, uh, well, all right. They're they're, they're doing the thing. Uh, I run, run, I move in. Um, I guess like to about there. Um, as you round the corner of the wall and you're moving to that spot, you see now this thing. So I imagine just like. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, A- Ava, Avon calling. Um. <laughs> has. So is it looking at me? Is my question. Oh man, it's taken all the all in, and you just you continue. Even though it's not his turn, you continue to hear. Um, he is not mm-hmm. frightened of you. Yeah, that's be, a problem for another day. Another another day. That's today. That's <laughs> today. <laughs> um. Uh, so Cesar is gonna be like, you know, like how in um, many things where like, so, like some like someone's like 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 Buzz Lightyear's like wings will pop up for like effect. That's uh, uh, Mage Armor on him. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around, sees that Mage Armor goes right up. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's my bonus action. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, Shield of Faith, not Mage Armor. Um, okay. And my action is going to be, uh, I'm going to hold it and just like clock, clock a big old translucent muscle man over here until he moves or do, does something. Okay. You, uh, but by hold it, you mean you're going to not pee on yourself? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else for you? Um, get my shield out <laughs> okay so just preparing and if if he does anything if he gets within striking distance you want to do something yeah yeah okay. yeah it'll it'll it will either be um an attack attack uh like a, a melee attack or um uh one of my cantrips like toll the dead or, or sacred flames but it depends on like okay. what what direction he's going to okay i'll allow that alexander you as well see just the stealthiest of stealth happening and then Bertrand strips and uh, trips and stumbles and then the two of them are just off to the races and now Cesar has just run into the room as well and you're like I rolled a 20 I rolled a 20 on stealth I thought we were going in quietly guys so we I are. Guess... <laughs> this is quiet <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna break my stealth since everyone else is just making a rackus now and I'll come around here and you see feet. you see the thing over on the, the the wall the curved part of the wall as well do you know a person by the name of Nancy <laughs> you look like you do Uh, and then I will cast Phantasmal Killer while I ask that question to it. Uh, on to the dude? On to the dude, yes. That wasn't supposed to be damage. I was supposed to show what it all did. I don't know. <laughs> One of these times, guys. One of these times. It'll get over there. There, there we go. go. We'll eventually learn how to use Beyond 20. <laughs> Tap the nightmares of the creature. You can see within range, create an illusory manifestation of its deepest fears. Is its deepest fear Nancy? We'll see. Okay, interesting. It should be. All right, so I have to make a wisdom save of DC yes. 17. Yes. Um. All right. Well, so that is uh, that's a total of thirteen. Um, and so I would say roll your damage. Okay. Now let's see if I get it right this he, time. I I will tell you. 
Okay, 23 points. I will yes. tell you that he... When you've used in the, this in the past, you can see the fear overwhelm someone and you see them kind of begin to recoil and the look on their face and he doesn't really kind of seem to have any of that and there was no kind of wince or uh, or, or anything from from the damage on it so you're a little bit perplexed by maybe he's just a tough guy and he just takes it on the chin he doesn't show his fear, but deep down, he's yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, he's like, oh, how can that guy without the clear eyelids treat me like that? Uh, and then with my bonus action, I will bardically inspire Cesar and be like, you need to move like the sea and go over there. <laughs> ebb in, not ebb out. In. Go, go over to, to where? <laughs> Him. I'm, oh, the tide can come to me. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, he's going to just come right on over and uh, just just see what you got there. So he is going to make a uh, a separate attack against both Alexander and uh, Cesar. So Alexander, he has made an attack. Uh, for 19 against you. And Cesar, his attack is only 4 against you. Oh. <laughs> uh, wow. I see how it is. That hits, by the way. So Ready, I need you to... I need, yes, what's sir? What's he swinging with? Sorry. His, uh, his arms. His arms. He's got arms. Okay. He does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I guess I could select his token and give you guys the horror that's not as like it's okay. bad but is I he was... carrying a bag of like skulls or something i see something like I, in the uh, bottom he, corner that, that, there. in the in the token he is but in in the game he's not yeah. okay it looks like it actually is a separate monster that's standing next to him in whatever piece of art it's taken from uh that could be uh. Uh, this is just the the standard token for him, so yeah. Um, I believe I think that's the standard token for him. Uh, so Alexander, I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw, please, while I roll the damage. Uh, a ten. So you're gonna take seven psychic damage. Hmm. Um. And you're going to be knocked prone because you failed that deck save. And now okay. I need you to make I need you to make a con save. Cool. I'm not very good with these. Cool. But hey, an 18. That's that's okay. You you passed. Um Yeah, so so big boy just put his fucking chonky down on you. He uh nice. he <laughs> He 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 utters something, uh, and I don't think any of you have. Does, do any of you speak deep speech? No. no. Then then it is just like the the deepest, eeriest kind of back of the throat guttural noise um, that, that that any of you have heard. And um, yes, do I need to make a concentration check since I just took damage from that? Yes, you do. Okay. So, I does this qualify as him doing something that I could pop off on and do a and uh, use my my held attack, my held action for? Sure, I'll allow that. Okay. Uh, what did you roll, Alexander? Okay, yeah, you passed your con save. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Toll the Dead. Okay. Just to try and feel this man out. 
All right. So what's your? That's a wisdom save. So what does your? Yeah. Uh, uh <laughs> sixteen. So, uh, that is a twenty-one. Uh, yep. All right. That 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 confirms that. <laughs> Still half damage though. Yeah. No, because it's a cantrip. Oh, my wizard in another game, he has empowered cantrips. Um, empowered cantrips. Yep. I forgot that for everyone else, that's a save or suck. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate for you guys. That's <laughs> that's going to not turn out well. But it's a tip <laughs> I'll know for later. <laughs> true, true. Um, he is done with his turn. Um... This guy is just kind of oofed on the table because he is stunned and cannot do anything. Uh, this guy is, is rushing to complete his uh, the, the the readings on his paper and and just he's rush 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 and then he finishes and looks at all of you and drops the paper on the ground. Oh, you're gonna die! And. Uh, This guy, in a kind of a similar guttural howl, steps fully out of the crackling energy field and Oof. is uh, suddenly on the turn order. Uh, Bertram. <sighs> One problem at a time. Uh, this cultist. Smack him again with the big stick. Uh, the one right in front of you? Yep. Yeah. 16 days. You make And you make that an advantage, right? Because he's stunned? He is still stunned. Let's crit fish on that one. Nope. Still 16. That hits. Five points of damage on that one. Okay. Uh, second attack. 23. Yeah. Uh, eight points of damage on that one. He's uh, he's barely hanging on, but I mean, you, you can see the, the consciousness in his eyes, like f flirting with leaving for now. Yeah, we're going to flurry of blows. So f first unarmed strike as a uh, 15 to hit. Um, That is actually his AC. Ooh, roll off. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm gonna. Did you uh, did you do that at your as an advantage? Oh no, I did not. Hold on. Oh, that's a that's a kraken. Okay. N okay. Never mind. Forget okay. that roll off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a kraken. Mm. Uh, so that one is nine, twelve points of damage total. Uh, and he. You're doing it non-lethal, but I'm non still I'm still gonna put just because it's easier for me to reconcile. I'm gonna put the red X on him. Okay. You just remember that he's not dead. Cool. I still um, have one attack left on my unarmed strike, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna step up to this Nothic and just just football punt this thing as hard as I can. Okay. Uh, twenty-five to hit. Uh, yeah, that that hits. That's uh, seven points of damage, and I need a con save because we're doing a stunning strike again. I like it, man. Okay. A con save, you say? Uh, how about an eight? That's a fail. Then DC, uh, four, DC 14. He is stunned. I, I will say that you do. I'll give you this little tidbit. Is, is this is this the end of your turn? Or yeah. you is your turn ending? I will say yep. that when you when you just punch just punch the crap out of him. He does. He doesn't look as spry as the one that you fought uh, on the farm. Um he just, it looks like he is uh, just maybe not at his full wits uh, or full health, maybe. 
Um, maybe it's some sort of summoning some, sickness? Summoning, I was just gonna say summoning sickness. We're on the same wavelength, buddy. I love it. Keyed. Okay, I am going to uh, charge at this one over here. And okay. uh, try to take him down, uh, staying in the in the in the dog form for for now. Okay. Uh, I will jump off of uh, the uh, pedestal though to try to uh, make it coming from above or okay. whatever. I love death from above. I love it. All right, so and so that maybe is... that would be like an acrobatics, maybe. An acrobatics. Or, or oh, you're trying to do it as, as, like as a shove attack you did before. I, I'm good with that. I'm mm -hmm. good with a with a shove. So, what, okay. what is that? Is that that's an athletic since he's not stunned, right, uh, Pike? Yeah. So athletics. So it's your strength mod. Your roll one d twenty plus one. One d twenty plus one. Twelve. Uh, with a 12, he just kind of manages to, 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 to scoot out of the way and you land on the floor kind of behind beside, him. beside, be beside slash behind him. Yeah. Okay. Um, so probably right there. Yeah. Okay. And, um, forgive me. I've never fought in wild form before or wild shape before mm -hmm. me. Uh, so I only get the one attack. Or is there a second? I think it follows by whatever your you, you shape into has. Yeah. So if it does, I, if it does, if it doesn't have multiple attacks in your stat block. Uh, the chart that I found isn't showing number of attacks. It, in actions, if you had, it would be multi-attack if you had them. Otherwise, it's, you just take a regular attack action. Okay, then that's a uh, regular attack action then. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, anything else? You can. I will say that you can move if you like, since you did that as as an attack. I won't call that part of your move. Or, or I guess you moved to get into position, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, anything else? Or are you just gonna stand your ground there? I um. I'm gonna. I guess moved so that I'm directly behind him. Okay. Yeah. Directly behind him then. Oops. Dig it. All right. Cesar. Uh, Alexander's down or? I am on He's the floor. He's prone. Yes. yes. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Guardian of Faith. Okay. Um, in uh, the like the spot between Alexander and Big Skinless over there. <laughs> okay. So I got to make a Dex save. Uh, yes. Uh, that is only a twelve. Ah, then um, he'll take twenty points of radiant damage. Um, and as long as he's within 10 feet of it, uh, for the next couple turns, he'll take more radiant damage. So can the guardian move or is the guardian? I think it's stationary there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So he's going to take 20 radiance, you say? Mm -hmm. I think technically it's one of those things where it doesn't take damage until its turn. Oh, the moves. Yeah. The so moves like when it base. yeah when okay. it starts its turn in the in the thing. Okay, I mean he's get he's gonna start there, so I'll just leave the damage yeah. modified. Yeah. Um. What else, sir? Um. That's all I'm going to do for right now. So we're going to say that's your, your guardian of faith right there. Uh, all right. The, uh, the Nothic is stunned. Or, yeah, he's stunned, right? Stunned? Super stunned. Right, Bertrand? 
Yep. Um, even even beyond your stun, you can tell that he. I mean, the the eye is blinking, and he's he's trying to shake and, and clear his head a little bit. Um, yeah, that poor dude. I feel a little bit bad. He just came into this world, and I just beat the <laughs> crap right out of him. <laughs> Alexander, you are prone. Yes, and I forgot to mention. Uh, it needed to make a wisdom saving throw at the end of its turn mm -hmm. or take another 40 10 from Phantasmal Killer. Yeah. What's my uh, save again on that? 17. Wisdom. Wisdom, yeah. So uh, that's a 9 that he rolled. So roll this psychic damage again. All right. Give me a sec. Working on it, trying to make sure it goes to the if right it, one. If it succeeded the first time, it, I don't think the spell it did, continues. It though. did not succeed the first time. Okay. 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 So 36. 34. My bad. Numbers are hard. Mm hmm. And so both you and Cesar are within 10 feet of the creature. So, this psychic damage goes off, and it it seems to basically boomerang off of him, and both you and Cesar take. I'm sorry, what did you say? Thirty four points of psychic damage. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Huh? All right. Okay. Um, it's a little thing called Psychic Mirror. Yeah. That's not great. Well, here, drop, see, here, drop here's, the, spell. here's the thing. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, roll your roll your cons to see if you keep your spells up or not. Uh, or maybe you could just drop that I spell say, if you, you like, could willingly, Alexander. Willingly fail that one. Let that one go. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I clearly drop it. I rolled a six either way. Uh, okay. Guardian isn't. Concentration. It's out. Uh... It is out. No, 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 no. Like oh yeah, it's no, not it's a... still. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, eight hours. Yeah, it's... Eight hour duration. Nice. Um. Just set it and forget it. It's like yeah. hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So did the everybody take that damage? The two of you. Yes. Thir yes. Thirty. Thirty four. Uh, Thirty four. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Uh. So I will. <laughs> Since it's now actually my turn, um, stand up for half of my movement speed. Mm -hmm. uh, then, do do do. I'm gonna pull down my gloves a little bit tighter and activate my gloves of telekinesis. Okay. Uh, because I don't want to be here anymore. Okay. And I really don't want him to be here. So I'm going to try and move him 30 feet away with telekinesis. Uh, he needs to make a ability check contested. So I need to make a spell casting check. He needs to make a strength check versus me. Strength. Yeah, he sure isn't strong. Right. I mean, I just want him to try and get away from me. Dude. So that will... I just rolled a Did one. No. <laughs> so that's that's a total of six, but my guess is you're going to beat it. I mean, if I can maybe roll... I'm just going to roll a uh, a charisma, and that, since that's my modifier. Uh, for 17 total. 30 feet, you say? Uh, yes. In uh, any direction I want, and I'm just getting him thirty feet straight back. Yes. Yeah, so ping, ping, ping. Where you want? Him, which way you want him to go? Uh, or, or just, just straight back, kind of over here. Yeah, like if I can shove him into a wall, I'll shove him into a wall over there, like where my dice is. But just, like straight back, and then I will uh go. One, two. Well, let's make sure I go 15 feet and then I'll be done with my turn. Okay. Uh, yep, I'm going over here. No, get behind me. 
that's what I'm trying to do, but, <laughs> but still staying away as far as fuck from him. Um, and that's my turn. I'm not no bonuses today. No bonus action. So, unbeknownst to me, I didn't take that twenty points because I was shoved out of the range of spirit guardian yep. or or whatever um, eh. before my bad my turn. Uh, it is now his turn, though. Um. <laughs> He's gonna come over here and see, see what the haps is. Nothing's going on. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, oof. Okay, if that does not recharge. I don't uh, know what it is, but I'm glad for <laughs> you're, it. You're you're glad it didn't. Um, he he's pretty upset about being shoved away though, so he's gonna make a uh. Make a, a, a two slam attacks against you, uh, Bertrand. Cool. Um, one is twenty seven, and uh, the other is twenty two. A twenty seven and a. Those are both hit. Both hit, yeah. Okay. I'm at a seventeen right now. Okay, so you're going to take, oh my goodness, uh, uh, 30 points of bludgeoning damage. Oof, a doof. Uh, and, oh, I'm sorry, 30 points of bludgeoning damage and 9 points of psychic damage. And you need to make a con save, please. Con save. Hey, I'm Con! Dizzy. Holy moly. I rolled a natural one for a total of eight. Uh, you are stunned until the end of my next turn. Ah, oh, see, that doesn't feel great when it happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and again, you hear that guttural, guttural laugh. Um, this guy is still knocked unconscious, but not dead and not dying. Um, Correct. this guy is actually going to make, it's going to make a run for it, um, down the stairs. Uh, like so an AO? you will get an AO. I'd like to try to hamstring him with my teeth. Okay. Not hamstring, uh, Achilles heel. Gotcha. It. Yep, and make it that... make an attack. Okay, so uh that's an attack plus so D twenty plus three. That is a six that I don't think hits. No, it's uh it's unfortunately not a hit. And so he's going to disappear down the stairs. Uh, he's not not yelling, though. So maybe he's not going to go warn someone. Uh, Bertram, unless you have a way to break it, you are stunned. Nope, I'm stuck. Keed. I am going to drop my wild shape. Okay. And I am going to, uh, let's see. This says, uh, from my hand. So I'm going to bring my hand up, pointing the palm of my hand at the big guy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I am going to cast Sunbeam. Ooh. Okay. Hey. Bringing out some big spells. Yes. Let me... So that's not what I. How do I get it to show up on? Uh, it's a, a DC save, um, but I don't know how to get it to show up on. There's a button that says display and BTT. There we yeah. go. That's a con, go. con save. Um, well, he has rolled a 15. 
Okay, so he rolled a 15. That does not pass because it's yep. a DC 16. Uh, do you want me to re-roll? No, 26 is pretty good damage. <laughs> yeah, it's 26 radiant damage. Okay. okay. And um, he and is he's blinded. blind until, okay. Until my next turn. It's pointless to put the uh, icons on him because he's so large. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Um, and this is a concentration spell on me, but uh, it, from what it says is I can create a new line of radiance uh, as my action on any turn until the spell ends. Gotcha. And this is concentration up to one minute. Gotcha. Yeah. No, that's. Uh... That is a, a, that's a big spell. That's a good one. That was a yep. clutch clutch move so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, anything else for you? I am going to move uh, over here. Okay. And that is it. Cesar. All right. Um... Keed has just changed back into her normal centaur self and encanted some magic and put her hand up and a giant moat and beam of sunlight has sprung forth from her hand and now Big Nasty is is kind of stumbling about a little bit um, looks like he maybe can't see what's going on much as I would love to get on that right now um, Bertram's hit, hit pretty bad right I mean, he took a wallop, yeah. I'm, I'm still, I still, uh, Alexander, how you feeling? Uh, blood's coming out of my eyes. Right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tamp uh my uh trident on the ground and cast prayer of healing. Um, so Bertram and uh Alexander will get eleven points back. Cool. And and you as well? Do you get from that? Because you took that that psychic wall up as well. Oh hell yes! <laughs> Keed, you good? And if you would like, you can All also. All she does is nod. That uh, inspiration die, the extra d10 on the healing as well when you cast a uh, spell that restores hit points. Let's do that because y'all y'all got hit. Another five. Woo. All right. What else for you, sir? Um, think that'll be it. Yeah, because uh, there's that, and then you know that'll that'll be it for now. Okay. The uh. The Nothic no longer stunned now, correct, Bertram? Because it's after the yeah. end of your past turn. Uh, yep. It it shakes its head and it it looks around and and kind of sizes up what is oh, happening. Farts. And even though you are just right there in front of it and you had walloped it, it also notices the big nasty, and it, it kind of lets out a, a little bit of a scream, and it heads back into this energy field and bamps to somewhere but he is no longer no longer seemingly in the room with you fascinating alexander uh so i will clap my hands together like a cheerleader and say let's go bert let's go and give him uh some inspiration all right. So, D10 for whenever you need it. A D10. For my actual action, I will uh, focus my gloves, telekinetic powers again, and this time try and lift Big Nasty up off of the ground. Is there a weight limit? No, there is no weight limit. Um, as long as he's huge or smaller, which he's huge, right? Yeah. I can Actually, move him... He may only be large because he's a t he's ten by ten. Okay, 
then I can move him however I like if he loses this contest, but only within, like, I can only move him 30 feet once per turn, and then it's only a max of 60 feet um, because that's the spell's range. Okay. Yeah, what's what's my, my uh, what am I rolling against? You're trying to beat a 27 with a natural 20. Oh, boy. And what was it I was rolling? Was it dex? Strength. It was strength. Oh, he. I mean, he might have a chance at that. Well, I'm going to let you know, I do not have... How do you have a plus seven charisma? Uh, Jack of all traits. Because it's an ability check. I have rolled nearly as high as I can roll, and I have rolled a 24. Woo! So yeah. 30 feet up into the air he goes. Just straight. Uh, yeah, so the ceilings in here are only about twenty feet. So you, okay, uh, so you overzealously kind of mash his face into the ceiling. Um, wow, it, impressive, dude! Impressive. Uh, gosh, and there's no way for him to wriggle out of that, right? Uh, let me double check, uh, but I'm pretty sure there is not. Um. Until the end of your next turn, the creature is restrained in your telekinetic grip. A creature lifted upwards is suspended in midair. On subsequent rounds, you can use your action to attempt to maintain my grip on the creature by repeating the contest. Wow. Dude, impressive. Uh, uh, and then I, I'm I will sorry. slowly move over here to try and get beside the guardian again. Because that's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, sounds that none of you have ever heard before. And and definitely anger. Uh, anger and hatred as though you've never heard. Even though you can't understand the words, you, you get the meaning behind these noises that are coming from him uh, as he fights against Alexander's telekinetic grip. And his face is smashed up against the ceiling unceremoniously. Because uh, I imagine Alexander is just kind of like bobbling him a little bit like this. Um, and he he tries and tries all that he can think and cannot slip the grasp. Um, this guy is still unconscious. Uh, that guy is gone. Bertram. Uh, I'm going to shake it off and man, how high up is this guy right now? 20 feet. So the ceiling's 20 feet. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's the mechanics are weird. He's a, he's a 10 by 10 cube. Yeah. So technically his back is like 10 feet above you, even though that's kind of strange, but. Okay. Um, I mean, rather than trying to do some, like, weird, stupid monk shit, I think I'm just going to take my sling out and just sling a couple bolts of uh, rocks at him. Okay. It will have advantage since he is technically restrained. He's restrained. I'll take it. Uh, first attack. Wow, that was terrible. 14. That misses, unfortunately. You, you wang yeah. the ceiling next to him. Uh, second shot. That's a little better. 21. That hits. Uh, is this worth putting more key into is the question. Uh, I don't think so. He's up there. It'll take a little bit more, but let's just let it go. Uh, for seven points of damage. Okay. Um, do I have anything I want to do? I don't think so. I think I'm going to hold on to everything else. Okay. So, yeah, that's me. Keed. Hi. So he's uh, how far away from me? If he had stayed on the ground, he would have been 30 feet away from me, but he's now 20 feet in the air. Yeah. I mean, I will say if you step wow. forward two squares, you can still hit him. Or do you, you don't have to stay positioned for your spell right i don't have to i i can create a new line yeah um so i i guess i can i can move forward like 
two steps. Um, I'll, I'll move back over here. I'm going okay. to re-aim at him and hit him again. So it looks like he has to do a... It doesn't say if he has to do another one, but um, I'm assuming he does. Uh, yeah, I would... Um... I, I would agree with that. It's a con save. Con save. Um, yep. He is restrained and blinded still. Uh, yes, so he is. Um, that I don't is think a, that affects his con save, so. No, that is a 16 total on his con save. Okay, uh, so he saved. That is, he's getting half. So if you just click the pink box, it'll actually roll it. Oh, oh there you go. So he'll take 15. So 15 okay. um, radiant damage. Okay, you guys are stacking it up on him. Uh, anything else? I'm going to tell them, break the crystals. Okay. Yep. Cesar. Break the crystals? Um... Uh, Cesar will Let's see how wide this is. Or how far away from the crystals am I? Is the question now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. You're 30 feet from the closest one. Hmm. Okay. And about 40 feet from the other. Um... Here's the question. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and pop shatter over here, wherever uh -huh. I can get uh, is it a 10 foot radius um, that can hit the crystals, but not keyed or Bertram. I think Bertram okay. might be all right if I drop it somewhere. I like, got you. Yeah. So maybe like the top of the stairs then. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, man. Roll that. Uh... That's, Shatter's a save spell, right? Yes. What's the save um, on that? A constitution of 16? Yeah, they don't really have any constitution. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I I love it. Uh, so each one is going to take... It does double damage to It does double to damage objects. To, yeah. to objects? Okay. So they're going to take... 28 points, each of them. Uh, yeah, you you definitely start to see um, fractures, uh, just kind of suddenly kind of splinter through. They're not broken yet. The, uh, the the field is still is still intact, but it is maybe not as stable as it once was. Uh, anything else, sir? Yeah, I'm gonna move up next to Bertram. Okay. Or in front of Bertram, somewhere by Bertram to get in the way of Big Nasty. All right, was well, he's above right now? He's he's up in the oh, air. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, well, I'm over here now, so okay. Good, so good, Cesar. good. You're both within ten feet of him. Good, good. Um, <laughs> the uh, Bertram is as the probably the closest to the portal. You kind of from through the energy you can hear kind of a distorted sound that does sound a little bit like the uh the cry of that nothic um kind of coming through the the energy veil behind you but i don't um, want that true it, it's hard to say whether he's just yelling or if he's yelling to rally help or if he's just a wild creature of some description. Hmm. Uh, Alexander. Well, so far, this idea that I've had is working out pretty well with this guy. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to maintain my concentration and hold him up there again and maybe start sliding him like 15 feet away from everybody so in case he drops and falls he's not falling on anybody else 
Okay. So it'll be another contest between his strength and my charisma, which I will get another 27 on. That is no way amazing <laughs> and bullshit. You're going to need that later and you're not going to have it. I know it's going to be a wonderful disaster when it comes around. So he'll go up to the... So let's... He, here's the problem is that even with the Kraken I just rolled, I cannot beat 27. Yeah. I can only get to 25. Ooh. So he is so, so angry. He's blind. He's got his face rubbing up against this makeshift ceiling. Uh, He's going to go 30 feet in that direction, which okay. is... Still within your range. Still within, yeah. And uh, that'll be my turn because I'm just focusing on holding him so he doesn't fuck me up anymore because that really hurt when he yelled at me. My head did not like it. I, uh... I will say that one of the most... Are you, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that'll be the end of my turn. I'll say that one of the most interesting things about this game is you can never... You can never guess what the players are going to do. I Oh, yeah. I thought you had a plan <laughs> that was going to be like a 100% working plan. It's like, oh, shit, they figured it out. And turns out you didn't have that plan. Um, <laughs> I just I, had a pair of gloves that I knew would come in handy at some point in time. And this is that time right now. Uh, going to kick yourself when I tell you what you could have done. Um, he's oh, just mad. Know. He's just mad. And uh, he's... His face is all kind of like the the clear, the translucent skin is now moist with the blood, and you can see kind of a face blood smear on the on the ceiling. Um, he is unhappy to say the least. This guy's still passed out. This guy's still gone. Bertram. Um. And there's uh yeah uh crystals yeah crystals okay um, I'll move over to this one. And mm -hmm. start trying to smash this one. Okay. Oh, that's a natural one. On the first hit. Put them away. Put those you know, away. <laughs> you you uh you were you just you're enamored by you thought earlier how good that would look is maybe like a necklace. And yeah. you're like, man, that would look really I fucking good. I don't really want to break it. All right. <laughs> crack, it, crack and dice, I love you, but you're on timeout for a moment. Hold on. Second attack. Oh, it's a five. For, for a total, total of... 12. Uh, you, you, like, at the last minute kind of pull and just caress it with your wooden sword. Mm. Uh, that was almost a hit, though. I'm going to put you in the shatter next time. <laughs> uh let's see let's see if i can just kick it let's just kick it all right just kick it uh 20 dirty that, 20 that hits <laughs> seven points of damage okay um uh can i am i can i add bardic inspiration to damage are you what kind of bard are you a spirit bard so spooky, I don't... spooky bard all right nope yeah we'll we'll hold it i should yeah. use it on the first one but that's fine i think i think it's only college of valor that can do yeah. that um yeah it's if it if it changes what you want to do if you want to do any more to it i will say that the now that you're up and close to it the the cracks seem to go all the way through it and all the way from the top to the bottom and it it is interesting to you that just there must just be the smallest little molecular crystal holding on inside that's even keeping this thing together yeah but is it worth burning key points on i don't think so i don't want to i don't want to flurry of blows this thing okay it's not worth it uh all right anything else for you uh no that'll be me done keyed I am going to reposition myself again mm -hmm. uh, so that I am within range and I am going to smack him again with the sunbeam. All right. Let's so, con, con save. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is a 14. That does not beat a 16. Tis true. So roll that beautiful damage. 
That is 24 radiant 24. damage, please. Nice. Minus 24. Um, I, I will say that at this point, he does not look as kind of hooking and strong as he once did. He still looks very dangerous, but you, you guys seem to be on on track to uh, to have him dealt with. And that's it for me. Okay. Cesar. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna walk over to this crystal and just hit it with my trident. Okay. Yeah, let's see. 17. That hits. Noise. Um, it's gonna be six points of damage. Or I was, I was seven like, oh, points. I was like, oh my gosh, there's so many numbers. Because uh, 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 blessed strike, and I'm using it one-handed. So seven points of damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will say that much like uh, Bertrand's, it uh, it's it's a wonder there there must just be the finest little threads of crystal inside that are holding it together. The 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 cracks inside of it just are are many and varied. Uh, nice. Anything um, else for you? Yep. Spiritual weapon. <laughs> okay. You should have access to yours in the uh, journal. Uh, oh, there it is. If I can not highlight everything and just select my <laughs> icon. There it is. Beep up. And um, let's see how far away I am from Big Nasty with all the. Well, you can cast oh, it. Oh, hell you yeah. can cast it closer to him, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was making sure that he was still within sixty feet that I could cast it over there. Yeah, because it only moves twenty per round, right? Mm -hmm. But you yeah. can attack on the round that you cast it, mm -hmm. I believe. So. What do, you, it by him. what do you describe to us what your spiritual weapon looks like? Oh, it's like a uh, it's like a beautiful, like ornate cutlass with um, like a swept handle that's got like an octopus fighting a shark on it. Oh, like the yeah. Most, the most piratey bullshit <laughs> cutlass you can ever imagine. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, make a uh, let's see. He's restrained. So I guess make an attack at advantage. Restrained right. and blind. He's restrained, but he, do he doesn't even see your piratey bullshit. Uh, 23. That'll hit. That'll be 10 points of damage. Okay. He's wondering how one of you got up here to where he is to hit him. <laughs> uh, anything else for you, sir? Nope, that's all I got. So... Since you are now also in front of this curtain, this energy curtain, uh, like Bertrand the round before, you you hear the kind of that nothic howl. It's it's distorted and it seems far away and almost as though you're listening through liquid. You hear it one howl, and then you hear another. Oh and hell you no! You hear another. God. And damn then it. just kind of a, a a small cacophony of them, but. But definitely you heard three very clear Nothic howls. Alexander. Just going to hold him up there. At this point, we're focusing on what we're doing. Uh, I'm you, nah. You get, he's going to stay where he's at. Are you going to roll that 27 again? Let's see. 26. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I still cannot beat that. And even with another Kraken, I cannot beat that. Oh, you're going to need those later, buddy. <laughs> you guys are this ridiculous. Is stressful. Uh yeah, it's, I I words I don't even have the words to describe how fucking mad he is now. If he ever gets out, you Alexander are dead man there's a reason why i'm close <laughs> to the exit right now guys 
Um, and oh man, he he tells you guys about it in w just words you do not understand. This guy's asleep. This guy's gone, but he's still in the order. Weird. Fortune. <laughs> uh, Swear to God, Bertie, you don't break the goddamn crystal, we're gonna be ass deep. <laughs> <laughs> If I've taken a vow to not kill crystals. That's another natural one. God damn! <laughs> On a separate die. Who are you fighting with? Uh, Welcome to Lawful Stupid, where we only roll ones and twenties here. Second attack. Natural 19. Good that lord. That hits. That hits. Can we just break this thing? Where's my D8? Ten points of damage. Yeah, so you um you finally get with it and uh and give it the beans. <laughs> and uh <laughs> this, hold on, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just doing a thing real quick here. That one goes to token and that one goes to a different layer. So now the the crystal is just completely cracked. Um, it shatters, it falls into, there's a number of pieces of it fall out and the curtain of energy disappears. All right, great. See so yeah, it. And now that that's gone, I'll say Alexander is really hoping you just chuck this guy through this curtain before we closed it. <laughs> You guys seem so close. <laughs> I can only say, move him so far and he's not uh, there. All right. So, man, he's still up in the air up there. You can sling it up. Uh, I don't think I can sling on my bonus action. Oh, true, true. I realized I had a channel divinity I could have used a while ago. That was would have been great, would have been real cool. Um, but for now, I think I'm done. OK, heed. Your your existing beam is still there. Does it still does it just damage again? It just does damage again. Yeah. Uh, do I get a save again or that's only I, when the I beam is going... established? I think that maybe only when the beam's established. So more damage then? Yeah, because I think they think that you would move out of it if you had been hit by it, and I cannot. Yeah, all right, so I'll just stay there. More damage. Um, that's 22 radiant. Okay. <laughs> Keith is going to kill this thing single-handedly if you guys don't get in there. Yep. Oh, hey, look, Alexander <laughs> has been helping me fantastically. Okay, that's true. That's Keep true. it going. Uh, anything else for you? No, Ce that's it. Cesar. Uh, all right. Um, I'm looking at Big Nasty over there. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Stand over here by the stairs and look down and just try to see what's going. Do I see anything down there? Uh, it or is, is it like a? It it is it is dark. Uh, it it's, it goes at least twenty five thirty feet down. Um, dark. Maybe it's a little bit dimly lit at the bottom, but it's uh the thing you can see right away. Okay. Um. Stay down there. Don't don't come up here. <laughs> If you oh, if you do, I'm gonna gonna, mm. <laughs> and then I'm gonna turn around and shoot a guiding bolt onto you um. Tell him, Cesar. <laughs> <laughs> on the big nasty. Okay. That scared me, and I'm over here. Uh, that's a hit. Fifteen points of damage. Oof. Uh, and spiritual weapon with advantage because he is still restrained facing against yeah. the, the ceiling. Uh, 
Crit, 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 crit. Ah, uh, 24. 24 hits. For another 10 damage. So, if you would, Cesar, tell me what this looks like. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Sailor's is like leaning, like leaning down, like y'all, like, yeah, yeah, be yeah, better not, you better not, I, because we, had to, I was gonna put the, I'm gonna, and then he like spins around and like fires, uh, the guiding bolt from his trident, mm -hmm. um, and like as he fires it, it like hits the spiritual weapon, uh, cutlass and like makes it glows up all big anime style and like, shroom, cuts right through, big nasty up there. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the translucent skin peels apart and just organs and and things all start to fall out but they're still being held <laughs> in alexander's telekinetic grip and it's almost as though the the grip is kind of squeezing to hold him which is trying to force bits and parts out um and he is kind of sputtering guttural noise but it is less and less and less and then he just completely goes limp in the telekinetic grip we killed your big naked man up here so you bet you leave it alone you leave it alone <laughs> if combat is done combat is done I will release the grip and still have nine and a half minutes worth of concentration left on this telekinet telekinesis oh and you can just transfer it around yes interesting but it will be a strength check versus my charisma every time i try to use it on a creature gotcha okay uh yeah so you guys have uh this thing hits the the ground like a a sack of rotten potatoes and then just spills his his bits everywhere uh it's it is pretty disgusting um, yeah he smells worse on the inside <laughs> <laughs> well and strangely yeah. many of his organs are, are are a little bit translucent as well like you can see through the wall of his stomach to kind of a little bit of food in there and it, it's really kind of disconcerting it's not healthy gross uh can Man, can we Sorry, see guys, like, you what this like... thing is? Like, clearly, this thing is not natural. Uh, yeah, I mean, tell me what kind of check you think you'd like to make a uh, like an arcana or a uh, a, a nature or I was thinking nature to see, like, oh, wait, uh, looking at my character sheet, I was thinking maybe not nature and anything except <laughs> nature. <laughs> Um, but then I'm looking I'm like Arcana no investigation a short story my intelligence sucks let's just roll the nature what, what would whatever. you like to roll no I was thinking Do you have nature. a wisdom that you like to roll nope nature <laughs> natural one <laughs> All right. I don't we, understand. We've got to get used to new dice. That's the penalty for Alexander rolling all those damn 19s and 20s. I you're welcome. No, what's happening? Wait, uh, so you're trying to figure out what it is? Yeah. With a Which natural is, one. Yeah, I've never oh. seen anything like this before. All right. Uh, can I use my arcana to, sure. to try to figure yeah. it out? Give it a try. That's a 14. The only thing that you kind of, the only feeling that you kind of get from it, even with your arcana check, is that it is, it is some sort of aberrant thing. But you, you can't really kind of, it is, it, it definitely seems to be some sort of aberration to you. An aberration, something that should not be here. I'm pretty sure we could have all told that just from his looks. Ah, oh, god damn it! Yeah, yeah, anybody? Anyway. Can anybody do this? I think he broke uh, a rib. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, 
Um, I am going to uh, cast a healing spirit. There we go. Uh, I call forth a nature spirit to soothe the wounded. Uh, it, it's going to be a, a cat. And it's going to do the cat thing where it starts purring and rubbing up against the legs and 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 stuff like that. Okay. Um so one let's see. Let me just uh do that. There you go, you get nine healing. Okay, that's uh, oh, thank you, oh, thank you. Oh, that feels better. I can breathe again, guys. I focused a little too hard when he screamed at me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it, it'll uh, anybody else? Anybody else need it? Because I I can only keep this up for about a minute or so. Um, counting down. It can only heal up to one plus your spellcasting ability modifier times. So nine times. Your ability modifier is nine. Uh, my, wait, no, that's my uh, five times. Okay. Total, five, total of five times. Uh, where are you at, Cesar? Uh, I'm over by where the crystal, oh, at the staircase. Sorry, how much I, health do you I have? I think he means. How wounded oh. are you? Who... Oh, um, <laughs> I can take another hit. Okay. Uh, well then, I'll, I'll let the cat heal me. That's 19. <laughs> yeah, suck uh... it, Alex, suck it, Alexander. <laughs> Well, I mean, if we're gonna if we if we're passing it out, I'll just go over. It. Yeah, no, let me. Yeah, no, I'll talk to the cat. Yeah, yeah, pass <laughs> the cat around. <laughs> Rub the cat. Pet, pet, pass. Pet, pet, pass. Is that what we're doing, guys? Yeah, that's sixteen. Hell yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is what happens when I roll all the twenties earlier. All right, uh, you want another? You. You can pet the cat now, yeah. and it'll heal you again. Yep. I don't want a sympathy pet. Well, <laughs> just shut up and pet the damn cat. Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> All right, I think I can go against that thing mano a mano now, guys. Okay, right. I I've got oh, one more oh. healing. One more. <laughs> Who else wants a pity pet for healing? <laughs> I'll I'll take it. And wait, Cesar, Cesar, thank Cesar, you, are you good? thank you, a non-long ranger for that uh, for uh, that phrasing. No. Um, I'm two away from full, so take you take it. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, give me that cat. Well, <laughs> there you go. And oh. as that uh, last little bit of warmth, the, the cat fades away. All right, Keed, how damaged are you? What's damage? Never mind. All right then. Well, <laughs> let's get ready to go down these stairs and. Oh fuck stairs! <laughs> I, got it. I got it. I'm gonna telekin use telekinesis to lift her off the ground now. Alexander, are you full health? I'm like three away from max. All right, we'll hold off then. Uh, okay, so I think she can... Oh, no, you can go upstairs. You just can't go down. Uh -huh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, with the... with The <laughs> the, uh, the telekinetic, uh, if you choose to just fail, he can he can pick you up and carry you down. I'm, I'm good I, with that. I, I, will, I will just... I'll fail, and I will duck my head as low as I can. Please don't hit me on the ceiling. Don't worry. Careless isn't here. This is going to be fine. <laughs> His influence is not working today. Oh wow! Uh, is she all just gonna leave that one guy that's unconscious upstairs then? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Oh, what, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, okay. So yeah, you guys. Um, oh wait, guys... never mind. <laughs> you sure you don't want to take care of somebody? I I'm, already, wanna... I'm already focused on her right now. Uh, I'll I'll put him somewhere safe. 
if we've got time for that. Sure, I'll give you I'll give you a little bit of time for that. Tell me what somewhere safe means, like uh, in a in hole. The, yeah, in the open <laughs> chest cavity of Big Nasty over there. Ooh, <laughs> you mean Luke Skywalker? It. Yep. Uh huh. Oh, uh -huh. What a weird place to wake up. <laughs> don't forget to put some of like the member bit parts inside just to really make them want to run out of here. I'm not like no, I'm just gonna like set them in, just like kind of like. You know, uh -huh. a little over it, and like just, just like just just whisper, just like just like you brought this on yourself. <laughs> there was a uh, line. Uh, uh, I know I did. I understand. Uh, uh, I know I did. Mm. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh, okie dokie. So the uh, the stairs descend uh, thirty feet or so before opening up into a, a chamber of worked stone. Um, I'll transition you guys over while I'm talking. The um, the the two braziers flank the uh, the opening as you walk in. Sorry, I'm getting the stream map realigned. Two. Uh, We're gonna be last in line here, just so everyone's aware. Oh, you, you and Keith. Yeah, move your tokens uh, around to however they fit. Uh, I would probably be toward the front. Um, there are two two braziers that flank the entrance, um, burning with kind of an unnatural aquamarine colored light. Uh, pillars stand in two rows, uh, kind of as colonnades going down um, that are just kind of out of the viewport here. Uh, each carved with visages of otherworldly creatures. At the far end, you see a fountain that seems to be flowing quietly and gently uh, in front of a, a double door that is closed. All right. Uh, should we should we try uh, going quiet again? Although. No, that I, one guy ran down here. I don't yeah. think anyone's going to be surprised by us coming. I yeah, think they they know we're here. If anything, we should be extra perceptive right about now to make sure nobody's going to just whack us in the back. Yeah. Since I'm up high, can I see anything? Um, you still have uh, do you still have sunbeam going? You could cast a, a sunbeam ray down in there. Uh, no, sunbeam is only one minute technically. Only one minute. Okay. Um, I will. Yeah, I mean, you maybe could see a little bit. You guys are you're still on the stairs at this point, so you can't really kind of see what's further into the room yet. I'll. So the are so are there doors here? No, there are no doors there. Okay. Um, so hold on, and I'll get you some some openings there. So you you come to the edge, and so you notice that uh that that uh brazier that i talked about with the the blue flame it looks like the edge of um the edge of the wall there maybe has uh been broken out a little in the interest of time i'm gonna go ahead and give you kind of more just because in the interest of time um it looks like there's a uh there's a door on the other side, and there's a, a creature floating um, It kind of looks like a hate that thing. A brain with a beak mouth and some no, smaller like tentacles it. kind of hanging down. Okay. All right. Well <clears throat> Can I just can I can I start slinging something at it? Cesar, are we gonna do something about this? Uh, you, you, you know, want to ask him the question first? <laughs> see, see what he's doing down here. You want to ask the the beak brain a question? Yeah, I find out what did what his life is, what he's doing, his plans for health and everything, and then I cast guiding bolt. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting a little more of kind of the situation opened up here for you. Because polygon reveal is great, it doesn't look that great on your maps sometimes. Um, 
Yes, I'm sorry. Cast Guiding Bolt and tell me... Uh... God! It's a 10. <laughs> you know, even with a 10, the... Uh... It, it just it's just barely it just slides kind of right past it uh and it it kind of whips around a little bit and, bertram, um, hit it. bertram hit it bertram bertram gotta hit it now. i'm slinging it. <laughs> <laughs> all right i won't pop the turn order up yet i'll give you both this is a sneak attack all right uh see so yeah, i'm launching my sling at it uh seven 17 17 hits all right, I'm going to boost that shot a little bit. Wow, double ones on the damage. So oh, this is bad. Five points of damage total. <coughs> uh, second slingshot. Well, uh, it's, it's, this is your surprise round. You get one shot at it before we roll for a, initiative. I don't get a full attack? No, you don't get a full attack. Um, bogus, my friend. Oh my god, I know it is. I know. Oof, da -da -da. Ooh, okay. that's so low. I don't like that. All right, is everybody rolled in? Fuck. Yeah, I got a 22. I see that. And we're going to deal with that. As soon as we come back from the break, yeah. we're going to take ourselves a uh, 10, minute, 10 minute break, everyone, right on top of this initiative order. And welcome back, everyone. So uh, when we went to break, it seemed like there was a little bit of initiative that had been rolled. And now it seems like there's a little bit of battle music playing. So I'm not sure... But Let's I think we're going to have to fight. At the top of the turn order is Keed, who is currently in the ever-so-gentle telekinetic glove grasp of Alexander, being harness-held, floated down the stairs, because centaurs cannot go downstairs, the more you know. Um, what would you like to do? Um... Let's see. Um, I am here. I can. I can't. I can just barely see it, right? Just barely. Uh, yes. Well, well. So you're up in the air a little bit, and it is mm -hmm. actually up in the air a little bit. So you can, uh, kind of where the stairs end and goes out into the room, kind of just past that. You can you can see it. So you have a line on it if you want to make a some sort of ranged attack. Okay. All right, I'm going to um, cast guiding bolt. On it. Okay. That's a 16. That hits. And then it takes 14 radiant damage. Um, okie dokie. Oh, technically you are restrained by telekinesis, so disadvantage on that attack roll. All right, so I will just yeah, just, just re-roll it. Yeah, just just roll the attack again. Okay, this plan works in theory, but okay, not when so we go that's, first. That's uh, twenty-six. Which which for sure still hits. Uh, so for the 16, which was the worst of the two, that was 14 damage. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Anything else that you would like to do on this turn? I'm going to tell Alexander. Alexander, please put me down at the bottom of the stairs gently. That was always the plan. I thought we talked about this before we even tried coming down here. 
We talked about this on the break. Were you not there? What's going on? <laughs> okay, now it is this creature's turn who... That uh, guiding bolt slid right past him and then he just got walloped by a flying centaur? He's he's still trying to puzzle that one out a little bit. Um, but he is going to use his um, his movement. He's going to come to here and he's going to make um, a multi-attack. Actually, he's gonna he's gonna make an attack at Bertram. Um, Let him come. Uh, twenty three to hit. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't. Okay, so that's gonna be uh seven piercing damage. What's he What's he doing? Is he he's using with... He's using an a tentacle attack. Tentacle attack. Oh and, no. And uh you need to make a con save. Well, you know what, you're a monk though, right? Yes. Can you be poisoned or are you past that point? Just a uh, reminder. I can I can be poisoned. I'm immune okay. to disease right now. Gotcha. Con Just save, a reminder. Mm -hmm. Yep. We discussed this at the end of game last time, and it's noted in Discord. I have uh, the Wheeler Woe, and I didn't remember it until just now. Mm -hmm. So uh, I rolled an eight, which is an even. So wheel, whenever a creature you can see within 30 feet of you is about to make an attack roll, a saving throw, or an ability check, you can use your reaction to roll a d6 and add the number rolled to the total. So I just want to remind you that that is available. Okay. Uh, well, I rolled an eight, but my con save is pretty good. So it brings me up to a 15. Uh, uh, 15, 15 beats. Yeah, uh, let me... I was going to let that one ride. Yeah, yeah, 15 beats. It's a, it's a, it's a low. Um... Trying to. Let's say they can't hear the uh, the music on the stream. Oh. Which is interesting. You guys can hear the music, right? Yeah, we hear it. Hmm. Let me turn my master up a little bit. I mean, it's kind of an up and down track volume uh, let me know how that sounds alias prime um, all right let me get back to where I was attacking you um, so you save against the poison uh, you are grappled since you are medium or smaller cool and you are restrained until the grapple ends and restrained Let's go. Yeah. It will, um, since it's grappled with you now, it will move five feet closer and take its beak attack at you, for which it is, has advantage now since you are grappled. Which is good, because one of those was a one. Uh, it's a uh, 17 to hit. Can I use Bardic Inspiration to subtract from his attack? I don't know that I've heard of that. I don't that something... believe so. If it's something in the book. I've done it, but that was a home game where I bullshitted a lot of rules. <laughs> Stop uh, and cry havoc back on. Add the number to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw it makes. Yeah. And then the magical inspiration, if you deal damage or cast a healing spell, you can use it on that instead. Okay, that's what your... Okay. I don't know what all the bards specific like inspirations can be used for so okay gotcha uh so does that hit does the 17 hit 
17 does hit you. Okay. You know what? Where are my fours? You're going to take 2d4 plus 2 piercing, my friend. Uh, for a total of six piercings. Six damage. What did I take? How much damage did I take the first hit? That is a good question. It was 1d10 plus two. It wasn't a ton. I think it was like seven or eight damage. I, I don't remember. It was 1d10 plus two. It's on you to write that down, my friend. Uh, 1d10 plus 2. We'll say it was 8. Okay. Uh, he is finished with his turn. Cesar. And I'm restrained. Yep. Grappled. Cool. Restrained. All right. Um, I'm going to move up next to Bertram. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, I don't like this at all. Um, uh, I'm going to hit it with my trident. Okay. Um, for advantage, right? Because of Guiding Bolt, the last hit? Uh, yes, because Keed did Guiding Bolt it. Noise, noise. Twenty-one. That absolutely hits. Uh, one-handed, um, plus, plus strike, uh, so that's ten points of damage. Oofta. Yeah, this thing's, I mean, it's not looking super hot, um, but it's still there. Did your spiritual weapon expire? Yeah, it was only up for a minute. Okay. Uh, anything else, sir? Um, hold on. Let's, uh... The question is, do I want to cast spiritual weapon? Yeah, I do want to cast spiritual weapon again. Love it. I am going to break roll 20 because it won't let me just put things out. It's out there. You're good. Okay. Yeah, 23 hits. <laughs> All right. And my chat has gone wonky, so now I can't get my damage. There it is. Nine points of damage. Nine. Okay. Yeah, anything else, sir? Nope, that's all I got. Alexander. So I'm going to go ahead and because I have to use my action, I will use it to gently put uh, Ked down. Oop, doop, doop, oops, like move her down over. Let's show people this here because that okay. is 30 feet. Okay. Keed, you, you can slide your token over there between Cesar and his spiritual weapon. And then I will gracefully place her down so not to cause any damage mm -hmm. to her. And Thank move you. up about there and just kind of call it my turn since I've already used my action to focus to gently place her down here. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, no, I don't have anything I would like to use my bonus action for this time around. Okay, copy that. Bertram, uh, you may attempt to break the grapple if you would like. Yeah, or I could just punch it. <laughs> I mean, I like the way you think. Um, cause it's a, it's a full action to try to try to break that grapple, right? Yes. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to try to punch this thing. Forget that. So all these are at disadvantage. Okay. Unless I have anything else that has given me advantage. None of the, uh, guiding bolts are still in effect. Are they correct? All right. I just rolled a double natural one, and I don't understand my life right now. <laughs> that this puts is... you right up there with uh, 
with like, Amy. Man, when, I almost, when, I when almost. Fariel rolled those double ones on that, uh, that save. I'm posting this on the Discord because <laughs> I don't. It doesn't get worse than this. <laughs> All right, proof in the Discord later. Second attack. Okay, 18 and a 19. We got a 25 for yeah, this hit. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm mad. I'm going to put... Uh, it's just a stupid brain thing. Okay, never mind. It's not worth a smite. It's not worth a smite. It's not worth it. Let it go. Seven points of damage. Okay. It, uh... You you actually feel its grip on you loosen just a little bit. It yeah. uh, it, it's been rocked. It's been rocked pretty good. Gotta take this thing and try to headbutt it. Um, and I am gonna use the bardic inspiration on this one. Cool. So I rolled a ten on my bardic inspiration die. It brings me up to a twenty-one. Get yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, it's another seven points of damage. Uh, yeah, man. So, you, uh, you reach for... Non-lethal damage. <laughs> I'm just trying to good. smash it right in the beak. Good good call, uh, because I was just about to tell you. Uh, I guess I won't do that then. I'm gonna do that. He's not dead, but he's got the X on him. You yeah. you you smash that that beat. It's it's a little bit kind of like broken over, and it's pushed into the brain some, and it lets you go and just kind of flops down onto the uh, onto the ground, uh, seemingly unconscious. <sighs> Is there anything else in here? Oh, the battle music went away. I think we're okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just put my loot away now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think that uh, that's what Alexander does when he's on the stairs. Like, da na 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 na. And he's singing what, the battle music for everyone. What is this weird puddle carpet thing over here? It is a fountain. Um, a fountain? Yeah. So let me pull those notes back up. Uh, it is a a fountain with um, crystal clear water inside, and there's a silver cup sitting on the edge of the fountain. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Um, are any of these like open? Yes, that actually is. Let me give you a little bit of reveal. Uh, yeah, the I'll single count. door is closed. The double doors at the south is closed. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see that um, this opening here, uh, it's it's where stone is broken away. And you can see that it, it kind of weaves into a dugout tunnel. Uh, Alexander is going to use his, uh, his gloves to pick up the bird brain mm -hmm. and glide it over to the fountain and put it into the water and see what happens. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Can, can uh, I try to, can I try to block it? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you guys have the discussion over that before he actually dunks it in there. What's up? Yeah. I don't know if we should mess with this. I would. I wanted to take a, a quick, a quick look before we start dunking bird brains in it. I will wait. Um. Yeah. So I just want to get close to it again. My divine sense isn't going to be useful here. You said there's a silver cup on the edge of this fountain. Yep. Just a very nondescript, just a very small, tiny little silver tumbler. All right. Can I get a closer look with a investigation type check to see? Sure. Or an arcana? It's a yeah, same I, bonus either way. Yeah, your, your choice. Kraken. There we go. 
the um the the fountain it's almost like a like a bird bath so there's a pedestal that comes up um it's it's finely worked uh maybe some sort of white marble um when i said the water is crystal clear it 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 looks extremely clear it seems to have no uh sediment or or any kind of dirt or anything in it um you've seen fountains similar to this in in churches and and temples that you've been to um sometimes it's used as a uh kind of a cleansing uh before you actually go into the the sanctuary but you, uh, you've definitely it... seen things like this yeah uh especially as from the the monastery there's probably things similar does it look like it's been defiled at all or is it still it's no it looks pristine looks pristine okay. enough that that we would let alias prime give us 100 bits for it that's a that's a good fountain <laughs> but for for another 100 bits i'll drink it <laughs> <laughs> uh, after i put the bird brain into it no no, no i no. <laughs> yeah i don't think we should put the bird brain into it this is Some... No, it's but... got some religious significance. I mean, honestly, this water looks decent. Um, so a non long ranger has given another hundred bits, and Cesar said he would drink out of it. All right, move out the way. <laughs> I'm gonna take the, <laughs> the I think uh, you should be good. I was, I was considering drinking it as well. All so, all right, uh, well, I'll, I'll do it since I said I would do it for money. So <laughs> 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 all right drink it up yeah i take i take the chalice i i put it in the water knock it back uh i'm it, gonna get it, ready with a with a lay on hands in case something bad happens okay but... good call good call it um it, it it tastes pure and fresh and uh, i'm glad you're the one that did it because the you feel a sensation that courses through you that feels exactly like it does when someone has cast guidance upon you. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, that's only for like a minute, right? Guidance. Hold on. Well, it's it's one use. It. It's yeah, it's yeah. one, it's one use. It's um, up up to a minute yeah. but yeah up All to right. a minute like like it's on you i think for a minute and then the first time you use it that that finishes it out yep okay um <laughs> dr how do you drink how drink up drink up then i guess everyone here, here. Right. <laughs> i'll take it and go for a dip and i'll see if i can yep. get anything out of it same thing you you have had guidance cast on you before as well and it is it is just kind of a warmth that courses through where you, you feel like you, like I can just edge out the thing I need to get that thing done. Uh, and you currently have the, are under the effect of guidance. Cool. Uh, good thing we found this because, and I look at Alexander when I say this, I did not prepare guidance today. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh. guidance. Oh, let's see. There, there, there we go. Yeah, I got guidance as well, guys. I don't know why we're, Bad mouth and having prepared guidance today. No, because I took because it went. Never mind. Did you prepare the one okay. thing we needed? Yes, I did. <laughs> so okay. Here, the I think the real question is: Did you prepare for a hype train? Because a hype train. oh my one goodness, just oh. kicked off. Hell yeah! Woot! Choo choo! Uh, I'm sorry. Please this continue, is amazing. everyone. <laughs> and and it's all because you said you would drink an unknown liquid. Yeah, for a hundred bits. <laughs> we'll do anything for a hundred bits. That's, that's how he got his first two wives. <laughs> Cesar, Ce Cesar's a he's a salty pirate. Uh, well, I guess I'll just release the bird, the beak brain, off over yonder, not in the water. Okay, because uh, it's it's apparently really good water. You do, and it it, it lands with kind of a, a a disgusting kind of kind of sound. But since it was not lethal damage, it is still technically unconscious and alive. Wait, it's still alive. I was trying to go for non lethal yes. when I dropped it. <laughs> or, did you no, toss lethal. it? Did you toss it far enough to give it uh, like at least ten feet into a wall? Yes. 
All right, roll 1d6. <laughs> Three. One. Yes, yeah, did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One less thing to worry about. One less thing to come back to consciousness and kill us. Yes. Uh, okay, so to the south, you've got a pair of double doors that are closed. To the west, there's a single door that's closed. And there's an opening uh, that's been uh, broken through or, or, or tunneled into uh, in the east. Where is young... What's his name? Because I don't remember the name of his dad right now. But I know it was old, and I know there's young. And young is supposed to be here somewhere. Uh, Young... Young Fargo, 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 Young Fargo, Young Fargo. Okay, it's Young Fago, and there's an ICP concert. Uh, <laughs> so I was gonna, I was saying like a a nice young bottle of soda. I was going to say, which direction should we go? Uh, and I gesture at the three. Let's check out this broken wall real quick. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It, um, I'm gonna poke my head around the corner. Let me get my tool out here. Yeah, it is, it is just kind of, kind of hewn, uh, into the, uh, into the surrounding. Gotta actually select it to make it work. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Hell yeah. Uh, there is a set of uh, of stairs at the uh, at the end. Oh my goodness! I look down to polygon reveal and everything goes crazy because we have the greatest viewers on all of Twitch. Um, so the the there's a the tunnel opens through a crumbling wall, and uh, there's a single uh, brazier at the end. That's what this round thing is. Uh, again, it has that strange aquamarine colored flame in it and a set of curving stone stairs descend down into darkness they're going down okay yeah keed's favorite and they're really narrow like roughly cut stone stairs her double favorite okay um all right those i'll step back into the main room all right stairs going down over there yeah, thanks, MCR Music. We are the best d and Actually, I don't know if that's true or not, but we have the best viewers, even if we're not the best channel. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, you're going to come to the, the door in the west there? Yep. Uh, Yep, it, you check it. It is not locked. Okay, let's, uh, let's push it open. Stick at the ready. Gloves at the ready. Trident at the ready. Hooves at the ready? I was just going to say hooves at the ready. <laughs> uh, okay. It, uh, this looks like maybe it's some sort of office um, or, or maybe a study. Uh, bundles of papers, diagrams, scrolls, and books lie scattered across the desk and on the floor of this room, uh, which is lit by two glowing crystal spheres on a shelf along the north wall. Um, okay. Let me change my tool here. Uh, up here, there are two uh, crystal spheres about this big on the shelf that are glowing. About how big? Uh, about yay big. Okay. Bowling ball size. Yeah. Um. Everybody, papers, everybody, papers, roll papers. like a like an arcana for me, real quick. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> yeah. I got an eighteen. Don't know uh, nothing about arcana. Natural twenty with a total of twenty-seven. I got a two. 15. So what is going on over there? Everyone except Bertram uh recognize, Bertram, you need new dice. <clears throat> recognize them as uh as drift globes. Um these, however, they, they seem like they've they they have a crack, each has a crack in it, so maybe they've been dropped or just heavily used in adventuring. Uh but they absolutely seem like drift globes. I am ignoring the globes for the moment and rifling through these papers on this desk. Um, it's a good thing that you're doing that because as you rifle the papers, uh, you move papers off of the top of, uh, of, off the top and move to the side and 
sitting on the the bare desk itself that had been hidden by the papers is a book and the cover of that book looks a whole lot like the sketch that is in the book that the in Sarah's diary that she left hey uh guys I got something over here I will ap approach the doorway if I can just do that yeah um is this is this the book that we've been looking for or is this a uh, different I, book it it is it is creepy af dude it, i am um, going to pull out the uh does it have a title that on i it? have uh there are all sorts of kind of runes on it that are in some sort of language that that you cannot read so it it may have a title or it may just be saying creepy af book um I'm going to pull out the diary okay. and open it up to the page that had the diagram mm -hmm. of the book that we're supposed to be looking for. And I'm and going it, to compare it. Well, if they would let you into the room, you could absolutely do that. I'm going to use my telekinesis to pull one I'm of those drift globes over into my hands. I'm going to move out the way so, so Keith can get into the room. Alexander. I'm just going to well. lock the doorway <laughs> Um, and stick my head in so I can see because okay. I can't turn around in there I think maybe so th there were lots of things that just went on right there in, in the room Cesar moved up to the north end of the room Alexander used his hand to pull a drift globe off as Keed moved up to the doorway Alexander when you pulled that drift globe off um, the floor right <laughs> under where Cesar had just moved to uh, gives away. Uh, I was trying to do it before he walked into the room, darn it. <laughs> and uh, and Cesar, you fall 20 feet and nice. land on the ground prone. Uh, feather fall. As a reaction? Yes. Handy. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, then you float gracefully and gently 20 feet uh, and do not land prone. Uh, but you are in the only light coming in is streaming down from the top, but you can tell immediately that you are in a cell. Like a jail oh, cell that has oh, that in, in the lower level. Well, that means um, something can't get me, so that's fine. Can I go over to the edge from where the pit fall was yeah. and bring him back up with my telekinesis no. now? No, nope, leave me down here. Uh, you you want may to stay down there. You you may it. Uh, I mean, he's not wrong. Can't nothing get to him right now. Uh, I will allow you to pluck him up if he uh, wants to be plucked. We to seventeen. For for as for what my strength or yes, strength versus my seventeen. <laughs> Okay, well, up he's we got I like to think that you've got him by the scruff of the neck and just pick him right back up. We need it to go, but there's more down here. We'll go down there later. We got stuff to look over here. Look, there's a book. I, right. Bertram, you hold that book up, and Keed, you're comparing it to the one in Sarah's diary. And I mean, it looks like a kind of a dead ringer. Uh, hers is. Hers is hastily drawn, and it's drawn by someone who was, you know, in the fear of the moment. But there are absolute similarities to it. Um, if you had to bet money on it, you would say it's, that it is the book. It looks like the book that's drawn here, and I'm going to show the picture. It looks like it. Um, when, when she when she shows it to you, Bertram, you you just get that kind of creepy feeling in your spine about what you must be holding. Yeah, I'm going to rummage through my bag and pull out my helmet and slap that on and cast Comprehend Languages with it. Ooh, very nice. Um, So I understand any written language, but it does not decode secret messages. Mm-hmm like glyphs or arcane sigils so if it's actual language on the cover 
I can read it. It it is, but you cannot get a sense of what kind of language it is. Maybe it's deep speech. Maybe it's like primordial or something. Uh, but it it definitely says retribution of the ancients on the cover. Okay. Uh, well, this is what we're looking for, folks. Uh. Uh, wow now someone's got to carry it <laughs> um uh here. i don't know what it was i didn't know uh, we were looking for a book to be honest i thought we were just trying to get payback for an innocent little girl uh column a column b kind of thing here we, we... Mm -hmm. uh yeah. okay uh, i'll put sarah's book away and then i'll hand i'll stretch my arm out for the other one okay yeah, you, uh, when he hands it to you, again, there's no, no bad effect that happens, but just holding it Oof. is, yeah, you you seriously get kind of squicked out by it. Uh, but you can easily put it in your bag, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, there, and there, are no, there are no deleterious effects that, uh, that you know of yet. Dang it. All right. Okay. Uh, do we keep going? Or do we go back? I don't think we can't leave all these people in here. No. Mm -mm. We said we were going to find young Fargo as well. So, I mean, we can't, we've we only finished column A. Now we still got B and C. Um, so. Do we have, is this, okay, so, and DM might need to help us remember what mm -hmm. our actual mission was. Is this book all that we need to be able to help the girl in well, we the also other book? Need to no. stop um my man's from like we need to stop him from either being being able to finish this ritual or kit like convince him to stop or to kill him so we can't do it we anymore. We were supposed to deliver justice in one way or another. Cool. For the death of his family. Yeah, and just just having the book does not release Sarah from the diary. Um, she is specifically looking for retribution, uh, vengeance uh, against this man that killed th everyone. All right. So uh, let's keep looking. Uh, the double doors. Yeah. I love it, man. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Yep. I'm with you. Okay. I will follow behind um, about a half a pace just so that I don't, you know, trap them between anything. Okay. Uh, those doors do not seem to be locked either. Push them open. A, give a push and they open up, revealing to you. I love the suspense while I'm doing the the reveal. Oh yeah, the the reveal tool is like ooh. Um, you can see that that across the uh, hallway there are more stairs that go down. There's another one of the braziers that um has that peculiar colored light in it. I'm just stepping in just so you can give us the whole reveal. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I will say that's the one great thing about having uh. Jade is careless is like, oh, step in the room. Yeah. 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 More like fearless. Um, so again, it uh it's so on, on the east side it it again seems like there's a an office, there's a desk and and stuff, uh books and trinkets kind of spread across the, the desk. Um and then on the west side <clears throat> there are um a couple of uh, tables in there that have bronze oil lamps on them that are burning. Um, they both have wood carving tools and small, strange uh, wooden objects on them. Do any of the wooden objects have like arcane sigils on them or anything like that? Why don't you mm -hmm. make give me an investigation check and I'll uh, I'll tell you a little bit about them. Oh, good. I have a higher investigation than Arcana, so twenty-two. 
Oh, jeez. So, <laughs> on uh, uh, the the two tables have woodworking stuff on them. I, I'm actually going to go ahead and open this last little bit up, figuring that you will have gotten around there to look. Um, they uh, two of the tables have woodworking stuff on them. One of them has a, a bunch of little small. They almost look like they would go on a necklace. Um, they're crafted from wood. It looks like a distended tongue that's been Ew. torn out, uh, with, with, you know, torn root kind of hanging from the tongue. Oh, uh, no. On one of the desks, there are about 50 of these. They seem to be newly carved. There, there are shavings on the desk and on the floor around. The other table, there are shavings as well, but there are no symbols on that table. All right, well, someone's really got a thing for tongues for some reason. Uh, so if anyone's remember, licking a lot down there. Do you remember what this cult is called? Yeah, it's the, oh, the uh, burnt, tongue. Burnt, tongue. Burnt, tongue. burnt Tongue Cult. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? is this the thing that we would have found if we hadn't like disintegrated that one dude <laughs> on that farm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna just look through this desk over here on the east side. Uh, yeah, there there seem to be um a bunch of kind of worthless, mysterious looking, but but obviously worthless uh trinkets and stuff on there. Uh, maybe they were kind of taking some design cues for their strange tongue necklaces. Um, there are a number of documents. Uh, many of them seem to have been drawn up by Farrell. Um, they. They seem pseudo important, um, you know, deeds and and this, that, and the other. Ooh, deeds, take those. Oh, is one of them uh, have a what's the man's name? Uh, it, work. There's a lot of paper. You'd have to sit down and and, and kind of search through. Um, but um, if you guys want to do that, just sweep it all into a bag. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> mm -hmm. We call that rake and take. Uh, yeah, and that seems to be kind of all that's going on in here. Um, I'm going to the top of the stairs to see what's past. Alrighty. We can do big staircase or tiny staircase. There's uh, there there's stairs down. You see a wall in front of you, uh, and you see what looks to be the edge of someone who is standing patiently there. Um, he does not seem to be crouched in hiding. He seems to just be standing kind of at the edge of your vision. Hey. Hey, you down there. Is that Let's how go? this works? It, yeah, I don't know. It's worked before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we see, we see you down there. Step out. What are you doing? Okay. He steps into view, and he's holding a piece of parchment. What's that in your hand? And he sh he holds it out and shows it to you. Yeah, no, don't do anything with it. Tell me what it is. He opens his mouth to speak. Nope. And he has <laughs> no tongue in his mouth, and he says, "Ah." ah. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, just I'll, just I'll... put just put it down. Just put it down. He complies. He he puts it straight down on the floor. I'll go pick it up. Well, I was Alexander's got the mind thing going. I I can I can bring it. I I bring it up to us, but like keep it out ten feet, like on the top of the stairs, so that way if it when I open it completely and we look at it, uh, it's it's it it's doesn't... not folded. It's it's just a plain piece of parchment. It's not folded. There's writing on one side of it. Okay. So it's I not going to blow helmet, up. Yeah. I still you, got this helmet on. Bring it over to me so I can read it. All right. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in your face here. And I'm going to slowly bring it over to him as I slowly step away. Cesar, keep, <laughs> keep your eye on that guy down there. Hey, and, uh, hey. he, he, he's not making any movements or hand motions. Or he's standing there just looking up at all of you. Uh, written in, in common in uh, not quite as flourishy as Carolus's letter. Uh, it simply says, 
Lord Vialis has been expecting you. Oh, well, at least we can get this over with real quick. Um, right. <laughs> you, yeah, 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 yes or no? Uh, is your name Fargo? Do you know Fargo? Was he upstairs? All right, well, there we go. We got just a little <laughs> bit of a <laughs> Will you, Will you step up here, please? And he kind of smiles and shakes his head no. Um, but I really just would like you to just to, to sit over here in the corner where I know you're not going to try to do anything. Uh, he again shakes his head no and then walks out of frame. Hey, when I don't, wait, wait, not, uh, all right, all right, we got to walk out to him. At we gotta... this point... So I am I... going to lean most of my weight on one wall and very gingerly. How deep are the steps? Oh, do we don't want to do the telekinesis ele elevator again. Uh, uh, how deep are the steps? Um, how deep would you like them to be? How, how deep do you need them to be for you to manage this? They and that's and that's how deep they are. Shallow. Okay, then then they're then they're shallow because I love the, I love the crane, but I love that you're just doing it on your own too. Yeah, I, I actually just confirmed. I looked it up online. It's very unnatural for horses to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they can get seriously hurt if it's not done properly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, no, Keed is leaning against the wall most of her weight um she is watching her feet mm -hmm. as she carefully places each hoof on the next step behind and with her hind hooves she does uh feel for the edge of the step first before putting her foot down and she gets down the stairs by herself. Uh, but it takes please... an excruciatingly long time. Yeah, please... the rest of us are down here by now. Please roll uh, your choice, a, a dex check or an acrobatics check if you uh, have uh, any extra in that. And They uh, are exactly the same. The, then please roll that. I will say that... Cesar, you and Bertrand, as you get to the bottom, you see the guy. He is still just standing there. He's not... He's not um, hostile at all, but he's like looking around this at the coming down the stairs, trying to see what the hell's going on behind you guys. <laughs> and Jesus, it, Jesus. and, and the, the 18 that you 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 managed to get it, it, it takes a while, but uh, he is surprised to see uh, a, a centaur coming down down the stairs. And it, it's something he has never seen before. We almost had the idea mm. to use water, create water, right? And make a, and like feel between the steps with the slope, but it'd be ice and it would just have been a bad idea. You would have slid all the way down into the wall. Um, you look back over at, at the, the, the guy in the red cloak who is, is smiling and kind of chuckling and he, he extends his arm, um, motioning and pointing into this direction. All right. Yeah, no, let's go. Don't yeah, don't move. You stay right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, God! Now I wish I had not taken his tongue away. It's like I don't work for you. All right, this is gonna take a little while. So, Talk just yourselves. for tracking purposes, has it been ten minutes now? We're, I... we're gonna say that 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 yeah, you uh, you could have made it down the stairs with her down this set, but that that would have been the the end of it. Okay, just it. wanted to know before any shenanigans possibly began here. Um, yeah, so I've almost got this lined. When well, you guys keep talking amongst yourselves. All right. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, so, what what can we actually do with this book now that we got it? What is well, it oh, good dude, for? Oh man, there's all sorts of spells and shit in there you can cast. Oh, yeah, no, I don't we care about read those. it. Read no. it. No, yes. no, no, no. So uh, as I you, play, I play Call of Cthulhu. You don't read those books. <laughs> as you've got five sanity left. I don't want to hear it from you. 
Um, <laughs> so as you step in, um, Cesar, and then for the rest of you, as you can step in behind as well, we have to pause while I move the map around. Because we... I'll have, move we down have here. To, if it makes it easier to see things. Yeah, we're going. We're going all the way in. All right. You can, uh, then. Then I'll. I'll go ahead and get it all then. Uh, so this is a. Um... Unless I'm standing next to something weird over here, and then I'm no, not you, going all the way. You come. Come over here, Bertram. What are you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his own thing. Let him be a free bird. <laughs> no, no free birds. I am the mama bird, and you all are gonna stay as close to me as, as possible. Um... This, this oh, is this too far then? This is yes. a huge this is a huge space that has the appearance of a chapel. Um the walls are carved again with unnatural imagery, similar to what you'd seen in the colonnade upstairs. Um a large alcove to the south contains a huge purple stone statue of a monstrous otherworldly creature. It has knots of flesh at the ends of each of its shoulders from which six long tentacles extend each tipped with a razor sharp barb they lash out like whips um there are also six muscular tentacles at the base of the body the head is somewhat reptilian with a wide maw filled with sharp curving teeth um a long black horn with a silver speckles curves upward and juts out from the middle of the forehead Maybe the most disturbing thing, because I haven't gotten to that yet, is a bulging cyclop cycloptic eye made from multifaceted crystal, uh, similar to the ones you'd seen in the first room upstairs. Uh, it dimly glows with a pale aquamarine light. Um, there is a body draped over an altar that's in front of the statue. I'm going to pop a picture of it up here in just a moment. I um, hate all of this. Uh, <laughs> there's a body draped over the altar in front of the statue and standing over the body is a tall bald man clutching in his hand a bloody knife um, he turns a bit as you enter I thought it might be uh, thought it might be forever before you got here and I'm going to show to players, show to everyone. This is what the statue looks like, except that it is it is carved from a, uh, a purple stone. No. Yeah, I don't like it. No, it's mm -hmm. the hook. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, thanks. <sighs> Who is that on the altar? Pardon? Who is that on the altar? What have you done? Oh, <laughs> this, this is of this is of no concern. Uh, 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 I humor, beg to differ. Humor us, humor us. We came all this way. We just like we'd give us the the food tour, you know, to, uh, what you I, what you did here. I make it, and he is still. You, you can tell that he's he's still kind of using the knife, and and occasionally, kind of in his in talking to you, he's doing something. Uh, maybe he's still working on. A casting, or maybe he's just a fucking weirdo. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to stop, stop I, moving around. I, uh, I learned long ago to never get so involved that I know the names. Uh, as he continues, Fago. Nope. Fargo. I'm, listen, sir, I need you to stop moving or waving mm -hmm. around or doing whatever you're doing right now. He pays you no attention. I move. I run at him. Uh, guiding bolt. <laughs> Are there only two, like, the four of us, him, and the and the other dude? Guiding that bolt one? now. <laughs> That's all we can see. I'm moving. <laughs> Remember, you guys are uh, delayed an entire day from being here because of the fight at Farrell's farm. Yep. I mean, they do. Oh, yeah. what, they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do right now. But Alexander's like, mm. uh, like yeah. So uh, Bertram, may take your move. Uh, Cesar, give me your guiding bolt. Keed, are you moving and, or shooting? Yeah, I'm moving to right here, and then I'm going to hit 
a bald man with a knife with a uh, blight. But Bl- I'll let Caesar's thing go first. Blight yep. knife. I'm going to charge in as that guiding bolt goes off. Um. Okay, so many things that are happening here. So, uh, Caesar, that guiding bolt is absolutely going to hit. Oh, thank God. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, so that's 12. Yeah, he uh, he takes the hit from that. Uh, Key, do you have to roll an attack for that, yeah? It's, oh, con save, uh, con save. Con save. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then are you uh, seriously not going to... Uh, not going to attack at all, Alexander, in, in all of this? I'm waiting to see if somebody else pops out and hit them, because if it's just the old man right now and the one guy without a tongue, I feel like there is just, just, just bad badness about to happen because they're making us focus on one thing, but something's going to come around back. And you know who's back here? Me. It's going to fuck up me. That's what's going to happen. 17 on my con save. Okay. Uh, on a failed save, half that, damage on a successful fa- one. Is no, that- 16. Okay. So, so eight, it's eight half eight, damage. 8d8. Eight Roll that and give me half of it. Oof. Did the guiding bolt land? Yes. Okay. Can I take it my advantage then? Holy shit. <laughs> wow. So 53 divided by two, that's a 26.5. So what is it, round up or down? It's down. Um, So 26. Okay, okay. Um, Yeah, uh, Bertrand, take your take your Dirty, dirty 20. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to burn the spell slot to smite for an extra mm-hmm. 2d8, and I'm going to burn the key point for Kensei strike for an extra d6 on there. Okay. Ah, terrible rolls, terrible rolls. 15 points of damage. Uh, okay. Tell me what it looks like. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah the uh, guiding bolt goes off over my head and I just sprint up and just and in between the the blight knife yeah just I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a Cesar and anime run at this guy <laughs> and just <laughs> crack him across the temple with the uh, with the boken there and try to knock him out um well, yes yeah, so you did not declare that it was non-lethal, and you used an awful lot of smiting in there. It's a non-lethal smite. <laughs> All right, we'll see if C- Cesar or Keed or Alexander let that stand. Uh, sure, uh, he is—he is crazy fucked up, but he's out. Oh, team, well done. Crisis nope, averted. I did. <laughs> Hold on, wait, don't, don't, don't kill it. We don't know how to, we got to rescue a girl from a book. Pretty sure we know how to rescue the girl from a book. I'm going to look behind me. Is nobody's still right there, right? Nobody's coming out of what is potentially right here beside me. No, that, that is a, a, a door to simulate another room, but you hear no noise in there. Um, the, the body that, was on the altar uh it kind of tearing from the chest uh comes another one of the the brain tentacle type creatures um i'm gonna look at it and just like listen we don't have time for you right now if you just agree to just go off and leave us alone we'll leave you in peace 
Do, um, refresh me. Do you speak the language of the Grell? Yes, no. He, does. Uh, he yeah. absolutely does. Yeah, does, then, he does, though. Then, he, then um, he doesn't understand you. You don't remember that time we, we like, went to, and the guy was Man. told to... He, what he, is the Grell's <laughs> language? Does, does this helmet work both ways? <laughs> Uh, no, it, it, the language is Grell. Do they understand Primordial? Uh, I would think not, because it's not Grell. Uh, I am waiting for all of you to roll initiative, though. All right, fine. We're going to okay. do this. I'm sorry, little bird dude. <laughs> um, oh, wow. That's an eight. Hey, I did okay on that one. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the map adjusted. Um, and I actually have one more. So, I mean, he was really nice earlier, but you just maybe might have killed his master. So he's not going to be able to let that stand. Uh, Bertrand, you are up first in the turn order. All right. Uh, Cesar, you deal with no tongue guy. I'm going to smack this brain thing. Watch out for the old man body. It's gonna, no, it's gonna something. All right. A uh, couple attacks on the brain. Okay. Uh, first strike is a thirteen. That hits. It does hit. Wow, brains are squishy, guys. Brains are squishy, guys. <laughs> Five points of damage on the first hit. Okay. Uh, second hit is a 24 to hit, so seven points of damage on that one. Uh, uh yeah, man, it's been, just been summoned into this world and, uh, through this sacrifice and it is there a tears out and then you, no, this, this is not from a portal. This seems to have been done right. using well, the body, uh, with some sort of ritual. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a football punt also then <laughs> and with a 21 to hit on an unarmed strike. With another six points of damage on the bonus action strike. Yeah, it has just popped into this world and like suddenly there's a dude that's just like beating the crap out of it. And I'm screaming at it, go back to where you came from, please. <laughs> uh, anything else, sir? Nope, that's it. Alexander. All right, so I will, having not seen anybody else come into the room, do anything aggressive, just gonna go one, two, four, come over to the old man. Loving it so far. I'm gonna take one of my cards. And I will use my Tale of the Renowned Duelist to make a spell attack, melee spell attack against him. Okay. Is it with advantage? Yeah. All right, let's come over here. I'm so curious about what this is. So plus nine. Okay, so 14. Is this the thing that we had discussed? No, this is a different thing I'm okay. going for this time around. No sweat, no sweat. Uh, d does it hit with a 14? Yeah, he's unconscious. Okay. okay, then let's see here. I want to make sure I get this right. This is two attacks against him, right? It's it's one melee spell attack against him. Uh-huh. On a hit, the target takes... Uh, force damage equal to two rolls of my Bardic Inspiration die, so two D10s. Okay. Plus my Charisma modifier. Okay. So he'll take... Eight, 13 points of damage as I slice him across with one of my cards saying, Rest in peace, Sarah. Okay. And that will be two failed death saves for him. 
because you have just taken it beyond the level of uh, of non-lethal unconsciousness. Uh, anything else, <laughs> sir? Uh, on my bonus action, I will use my Tales from Beyond to get another story for me to use later on. Okay. Which I need to roll a d12 for, and it will be number eight. That's a good one. I don't actually know what that one is. Uh, well, you guys might find out what it is when it comes time. <laughs> and All right. that'll be my turn. Cesar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. See, um, see, seeing things transpire with his boss, this guy has gone into about to get up in that ass mode. Um, he does not look as though he's going to run. It looks like he is about to come for y'all. All um, by himself. Sure, sure he is. Um, what's actually going to happen is... Um, how do I do this? Uh, That's another show. <laughs> um, I am going to cast Toll the Dead at him. Okay. Wait, no, he's... Yeah, I'll I'll try Toll the Dead at him. All right. He is not wise, I will tell you that. Okay. <laughs> That's an eight on my wisdom save. Nice. Okay. Um, that's a, I can't do math. Five, Thirteen. five, three. Thirteen. Yes. Um, it, we didn't hit him earlier, did we? You did not. Okay. All right. Um, Maybe you should have, but you didn't. <laughs> but like, go, get, uh, you're done. You're done. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I can and we'll do it again. You're done. <laughs> um all right, is that that's you? That's all you're all you're doing to him? Um <laughs> Yeah, because I don't think wait a minute. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> uh, uh spiritual weapon. Oh here we go. <laughs> Uh, uh, I I I want out. I'm done here. I hate all of you and everything you've done here. Uh, oh no, I dropped it in the. Thank you. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, we're gonna try that. Try that. See how that hits. Nope, it doesn't. Ten does not what, hit. What is but, going on? <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my inspiration. <laughs> yes. And I can roll a d6. <laughs> so we're gonna... And add that to yours. So that's six. That's actually, you don't need your inspiration. 16 will hit. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. What is happening? Uh, I don't it's a, know. It's a, a nine. <laughs> like, get, get out of here or I, or I will kill you. <laughs> Either you leave or I will kill you. Oh, I should have put that on the old band. Finished him off for good. Damn it. Uh, anything <laughs> else? No, that's it. That's all I got. Unless I had like some like a no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Unless oh, I've got this one thing. Um, <laughs> it's always one more thing. <laughs> always one more thing. Yeah. So it is his turn. And. Cesar, you you definitely, like, no fooly, you can see the conflict in his face. And he looks at you, and he looks past you to the body of, uh, of, of Vialis Yellowcrest, his, his master. And he looks back at you with, with pleading eyes. You know, there's, there's just nothing else he can do. Um... And he is going to cast uh, Inflict Wounds at you, which is a melee spell attack. Okay. Uh, it's only 11. Does not do it. It it flies right past you. And, and uh, like, you can actually tell the, the look in his face. Like, it, it, he has no choice but to do it. It's almost as if he's compelled 
Um, and that ends his turn. Um, good old LVY here. Uh, I forgot to do this when Alexander broke bad on him. Uh, his body will continue to bleed out. Oh, no, I've got to make a death save. He's not dead. That's why I didn't put the X on him. Because I have to make a death save. Uno mas. Uno mas. That is a seven. Ooh. LVS. LVY. Expires. <coughs> Keyed. I am going to um, look at the, it's a, the, the beak tentacle monster brain mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put uh, guiding bolts on it. Yeah, do it. Eleven will not hit. Can you use Wait, your? Wait, can I? Yeah, I was going to say, can I? Can, can I use you... my D six? Can you use it every time? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I put the information up. Let me um, double check it. Features. Whenever a creature you see within 30 feet of you is about to make an attack roll, a saving throw, or an ability check, you can use your reaction to roll a d6 and add the number to the roll total. It doesn't say how many times. It says whenever you finish a long rest, roll a die until you finish. But it also says when next. someone you can see, which generally does not include yourself. Right. Uh, thank you, United uh, Adventure it's... Company, for the raid. Thank you. Woo! Hey. We, uh, we have a, uh, a giveaway going for a $25 gift card for crackandice.com. Um, so use, uh, I'm sorry, I told totally us my train of thought. Use exclamation mark giveaway to uh, to enter that. Uh, it does toss ten, cost 10 gold, but you get gold just for subscribing, or maybe some of our viewers can uh, give you some gold. Uh, you also get gold just for watching, so you just watch us fool off uh, for a little bit here, and uh, you'll have enough gold in no time. Um, oh, I was going to say it has four uses. I see. So I can do it four times um, until okay. my next long rest. Gotcha. Yep. Then uh, then if it's a d6, then whatever you roll will hit because that is his AC. Is 12. Um, so okay, that's... so roll the d6 or... Uh, it, whatever you roll is going to give you enough to hit him, so... Okay, so then I guess... I yeah, guess he takes, the D <laughs> he takes 26 points 26 of points damage. Points of damage. <laughs> okay. He's not feeling good about uh, about coming into this world. Um, Poor little brain. Oh, it's uh, it's actually earning go. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought that told you how to do a give gold. Uh, I have seen uh, Jade do it, but I don't actually know how it yeah, works. Yeah, I don't remember what the syntax is. Um, it is now that guy's turn. And man, he is not feeling super about any of this. Um, he is actually going to maybe try to take your advice. And he's going to dash away from you. Are you going to take your AO on him? Uh, yeah, that's not where I wanted him to go. Not that way. <laughs> How's he supposed to go back to his own world? Like implode on himself? Yes, get back in that body. Uh, go the... back to where you came from. That uh, one fell on the floor. Let's roll a different one. 25 to hit. Yeah. N nine points damage. <laughs> so close. Uh, and so he will fly. As you walked in before, you just like cracked off and started killing people in this room. Uh, these uh, little alcoves are pits. pits. 
that yeah. that fall uh, down, and so he's gonna make it to one of those pits and head down it. Oh no! Just to get away from y'all. That's that's okay, I guess. That's acceptable for now. We'll deal with that problem later. Um, is everything done? We don't have any dynamite, do we? Uh, there's, there, there's how's lots our of different friend back there? Lots of different questions going on. Um, I, uh, you know, I ended before it was, before he had really dealt with anything, but I, I he just does not know what to do. He, he will, I will tell you this, he will continue to fight until you kill him or subdue him. Can we just, just tie him up? The poor I fool mean, doesn't know any better. You, uh, you, you'll have to get him into a position where you can tie him up first, but yes, you may. It means you'll have to beat him into submission or dogpile oh, him. Well, yeah, if you want to tie him up, you better hurry up because I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it. I bet Bertram uh, can make it there this round. Oh yeah, no easy. Do you want me to to measure it? Hey, forty five feet. That's exactly what I got. Um. Yeah, I'm man. just gonna run up to him and just say, "Please, just." Just let it happen, and I'm just gonna just cr <laughs> just crack him across the. Just head. go to bed. Just go to bed. Boom. That's a kraken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it cracked him with the kraken. Uh, oh, you do maximum damage on the weapon die, right? Yeah. Cool. 16 points of damage then. Uh, sack o potatoes. <laughs> non non lethal. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, I, I I knew that you were trying to just turn the knock him out, but yeah, he is yeah. he is down and unconscious. Um, oh, good night, sweet prince. <sighs> I am uh, gonna leave the uh, the turn order up here for for a minute um alexander give me a perception check please i just feel like i'm commanding nine. <laughs> oh my god this guy's got a lot of blood in him um keed maybe you can give me a perception check that looks like a lot more blood than normal guys it's kind of a normal amount. You just haven't ever gotten so fucking ruckus 30, with zero. So, uh, viewing past the the horror of the statue, you uh, you do notice a crude. Um, I gotta make sure this is the right room. Don't want you guys to get killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you notice a little kind of depression in the wall over on the, on the far side from you of the um, of the statue. I will go over to it and um, investigate it. Please do. I'll, I'll go around like this way first. Okay. And then this way, I don't want to get too close to the. Yeah, I mean, you're statue. close. You're close to it, and you kind of keep looking over your shoulder at it. It's got the the one big eye seems to follow you everywhere, but I mean, you know, it's an illusion. But it it's still, you've never seen anything as as horrific as you thought you had seen things. This thing really mm -hmm. takes the cake. Uh, yeah, I'm going to investigate this depression right here. I'm not yeah. going to touch anything, but definitely looking. Absolutely. Um, uh, investigation, please. Go. That's a 15. It looks like maybe it's a crude door or passageway um, that is somewhat secreted. Um, if you decide to touch it, you could uh, 
probably figure its mechanism out. But but just looking at it, it seems as though that that panel would would break away or open. I found something. It looks like a door. Give me a moment. I'll be right over. I'm going to look over the old man's body and see if there's anything of use, like a note <laughs> or anything that might, like, you know, just... Yeah, give me a minute. I'll be right there. He's just flipping mm -hmm. through his pockets. <laughs> Gotta make hey, sure there's no the other wallet. dead stuff over here. Uh, Yeah, there's a note that says... I'm a real fucking evil dude. No, no, he uh, he is 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 bereft of of uh, of anything, uh, save for one of the wooden uh, like amulet type things on uh, on a necklace that like you found earlier of the carved tongue. Well, nobody needs that. So then I'll come on over here, and I will mage hand the door open. <laughs> Uh, easy enough to do. It, it is not secreted very well. Uh, and so... I can't believe y'all are gonna... make me do it. So yeah, the door opens. And you can see this little slice. Just walk in, walk in the room. There you go. <laughs> That's my careless. I was like, I, how far can I see now? I'm at the door. But I'll go in. Get in the closet. <laughs> oh, there's mm. a turn. Oh shit! All right. No, well, keep, go I, keep going. You gotta tell us what's in there. I mean, you're the almost order. there, Alexander. The turn order is still up. You can do it. I'm almost there. So glad I have invisibility today. What? Um, what is this in the corner? So this is a a small dark chamber, and um. It, there's a, a short bookcase at the end stuffed with uh, with old old books and resting on top of it is a golden urn. Mage hand the urn over. How much can okay. Mage hand pick up? Five pounds, I think. Off the top of my head, let me double check and get I, that sounds right in my brain. Uh, well, the great people make a lot of ash. Uh, the hand can't attack, activate, or carry more than ten pounds. Ooh. So it is it is just a, just a pinch too heavy for it to pick up and carry. Then I'll walk over and I'll pick it up. Um, as you as you pick it up, you you look at it. There are um, arcane sigils. Um, carved kind of around the edges and the the top and the bottom and around the sides and then also very finely done around the middle of the urn are four names Maria Malik Janice Tiana what I understand the the arcane things at the top are they like binding seals to this you have to roll an arcana for that okay malik janice tiana what was the Mar last one maria maria those are the, the wife and those the kids those are the wife and the three kids three sons very good well two sons and a daughter um two sons and a daughter sorry uh, yeah, ten. It, it, it's it's hard it's too hard to say with a 10 um What's in there? I know, just more books and a All pot. Right. And a I'll, I'll and go a in. Yeah, and... so you see that he's holding a, a a golden urn, and as you get close to it, you also can see the the names engraved on there. And since you recall what the names are, you you can for sure tell him that. Oh, those must be the ashes of his wife and children. Oh, the ones he murdered. This is a really fancy urn for what I assumed was going to be their urns. I thought he was just going to be an ass and have like some pieces of shit. This is really nice. I didn't expect this. Um, I, I see the runes. You do. Can I read? Can I try to? You can make an arcana check. 
So was he not? Not quite. Uh, yeah, the twelve. It's not not much better than than Alexander. It's um, you you feel like they're maybe familiar, but um, but just nothing mm -hmm. nothing quite is coming to you. Um, hey Bert, they're, they're, I, I, they're, I'm gonna move over to the bookcase. Yeah, then. the uh, there are a, a number of of old, old, old books and uh, scrolls with strange arcane formulas and alchemical recipes and stuff. Um, the um, the thing that really gets you are are the books though they they kind of have that similar feeling that you get from the retribution of the ancients book um you can uh uh somebody had up uh, comprehend languages earlier oh that was i got it i see okay. yeah, i still got the helmet on okay uh you'll have to wait for him for some of them um yeah hey that's why i was calling bert earlier Bert, yeah. can can you read this? Can you decipher what these runes possibly mean on this thing? Uh, I was gonna kick in this broom closet real quick. One second, kabow! <laughs> <laughs> they cleaned here. What? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick this door in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is. Oh, it's his TV room. Don't worry about it, guys. I, it's it is another uh, <laughs> a, another study. Um, the uh, the the yeah, it's just another study. It's kind of like a sitting room. Uh, there's a, a couch and you know wood floor, and there's a tall bookcase uh, in there on the north wall, and a, a button or something on this side table oh it's that's a that's where it probably where it keeps his remote control <laughs> i actually have no idea what that is it's not in the it's not in the, the descriptor all right uh, as long as i'm right here i'm gonna search through this bookcase real quick uh they seem fairly mundane um you know magics of, of the day um it, nothing about this kind of gives you the creepitude that the other book does so, um I mean, they, they, it seems like a like a good library, but it, it nothing about it seems crazy funky. All right, let's leave that. That's a weird. He's got, he's got a, a sitting room in the middle of his summoning chamber. So you know uh, there's sometimes that. you just gotta have places to sit. Yeah, I mean, he gets tired sacrificing people all the time. You feel like that's the weirdest thing in his sacrificial place, not the giant statue. That you're walking I mean, by. I, ex I expect the weird statue. I right? don't expect him hey, to have hey, a, a fancy Cesar? couch. Yes. You might want to uh, use that stone to let the uh, captain know we found a lot more than we expected. Mm. <laughs> Just All to right. clarify for everyone watching, the sending stones <laughs> they have are very old and are actually still push button activated. Like they used to be back in the old days. Please continue, Cesar. Uh, what is it? How many words is it? 25. Sage Tomris, we found book. Uh, the man killed the man, found more books uh, in an altar. Please advise. She, uh, it, it, there's a, a pause on the other side and, and you hear come back uh that is that's is, that is wonderful um bring any books or skeevy ass relics back here so we can study and bury them uh good work she said good work uh take what you can if it'll fit if you can carry it rack it and bag it <laughs> Um, Bertram, are you, uh, going to use your, the comprehend languages to try to look at any of this stuff? Correct. That's the plan. Uh, roll a, uh, roll an arcana with advantage. Cool, 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 cool. This is for looking at the urn. ta -da. Oh, boy. Uh, three and a five. 
with a Jesus. minus one for a total of four. Oof, oof, oof. I'm having yep. a good night, guys. I am yep, on with, uh, a roll. Just, just, just some arcane sigils. Would you like to try the books in the bookshelf that are scheming yeah, guys, everyone else out? These things are completely unintelligible. Uh, yeah, let me take a look at these other things over here. Do you need another roll on those? Uh, no, I, I, was, I was, I was waiting to see if you could either roll a one or a twenty. Um, I will say that the uh, uh, of all the books in there, the the four that kind of stand out as as ones that you feel like maybe should not be out in the world. Um, there's a book called Saviors from the Outer Plains. Mm, don't like that. Okay. Mm -mm. There's a book called Elder Evils. That sounds worse. There's a book. Surprisingly. There's a okay. book called The Tragic Fall of Synodicia. Mm, don't know who she is. They are. Who and knows? a book called Face of the Returner. Guys, I don't like to be that person but i kind of feel like it'd be great if all these books didn't exist anymore i mean like I, just... like, like i know thomas is it really hates the whole book burning thing but but man if there was ever books to just burn oh wait hold on i have something for this <laughs> master sage thomas would say that we got to keep all literature that we need but i'm just we could just just light it right now and just walk away <laughs> Uh, maybe take some of the lesser tomes and see if they will burn. If they don't burn, we do need to take them back. Yeah, give me a... Do you try to light one on fire? Yes. Yeah. Are you, are you sure? I, I, I am now questioning its ability to be flammable, but, um... We'll yeah, walk gonna... out of the room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you, uh, tell me which one of those four that you try to burn. Uh, which ones again? Uh, uh, like the, the... The one had a name in it. What was that name? Uh, The Tragic Fall of Synodicia. Yeah, let's start there. Yeah, it, uh, it, it almost seems to, like, soak in the fire. It, the book is an almost mocking you. All right, put, uh, it, in a, put it, it in the it, bag. Yeah, the the four of them, real they skeeve you out as much or more than retribution of the ancients. All right, I guess. Look, I, I really don't like the idea of carrying all of them, but I will if I have to. I'll take one if need be. Share the load, Alexander. I mean this in the most uh compassionate way possible but i am terrified one of the books is going to corrupt you and turn you into some kind of unspeakable <laughs> evil <laughs> what are you talking about you, you, you just seem incorrigible <laughs> i'm gonna pull out Terrell. Don't listen to him. You're That's right. That's <laughs> you're making my points. Uh, everyone, did you guys all come out of the room back into the main chamber? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I might be grabbing one or two of the older looking books that were still on the shelves that were sure. the four. Sure. Th those four seem to be the oldest. Right. So then I'd grab the next oldest just, just, looking. Just some other like ones. Two or okay. three. Yeah. Um. The uh, and, yeah, and then so you can you can easily do that, and then uh, all of you that are back out in the main room, please make a perception check. Oh God! Can we just run? You could. Turn order still up though. And that's uh, a lot of blood, that's guys. Not a persuasion check, Cesar. You're not persuading God me. Damn it! Am I not? I got no. an eighteen. Uh, Am I not? 17. Can I keep the roll, but just put the modifier on it? Sure. Okay, that's a 27. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, while, while Alexander is 
loving his tarot cards. Um, you all notice. Is it the statue? Mm, no. Is it? You... Is it our to- <laughs> our tongueless friend over there? Uh, no. Uh, you all notice the sound of a little bit of movement and hushed, hushed voices coming from this area over here. Uh, great. <clears throat> I will go investigate. Hey, who's over there? Show yourself. You you hear the 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 talk abruptly stop, and the motion for a moment increases, like like. <laughs> but you know, there's still kind of motion in there, and then kind of the motion stops, and it is it is quiet. When they were talking, did I understand anything that they were saying? Uh, yeah, it sounded just like whispers in common. You, I don't know that you could make anything out specifically, but you could hear you could hear words that you absolutely understood. Yeah. Uh, hey, L- listen, I don't want to have to come in there. Just come on out, and we'll talk this out if we have to. You hear the, the slightest little bit of whispering. And then Quit your and, whispering and, in there and get out. You hear the slightest bit of whispering and, and then what sounds like kind of metal scraping a little bit and a door much better embedded in the wall. Keep, oh, ah, wrong tool. Um. A door much better embedded in the wall. Motherfucker. Right here. Uh, it slide you know, kind of swings open just a little bit, and you hear, "Who are you?" We're looking for young Fargo. Yeah, fool! Come out! Come out here! Make all of you make a perception check with advantage. Sixteen. 16. 21. And forget about it. Bertram. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's okay, Taro. They don't understand you like I do. Did you say 16 as well, Alex- Alexander? <laughs> yes, I did. Um, Even though you only got a 9? I no, rolled, rolled it up a... it, yeah. it got interrupted oh. by others. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, Bertram is like getting his wooden sword ready to start knocking some fucking heads. But Cesar and Keed and Alexander, all of you, when whoever of it that said we're looking for young Fargo, you hear that gruff voice that was questioning who you were sharply inhale. Is he dead? Young come Fargo, out, if you're in there, I best suggest you come on out here and talk to us peacefully the I will uh, cast uh oh, Jesus. suggestion i don't even um, know what his save is uh, what's the dc uh 17 wisdom yeah there's no way he made that uh yeah the even before you cast it uh the door was uh slowly being pushed open and um, you see in this hallway someone who is dressed as a cultist, um, but behind him in the hallway, you can see a somewhat kind of beaten up and, and scratched up uh, figure that looks a little like Servekin. And they are, are very tentatively opening the door. Um, uh, do, do, do I, do I know you? Uh, why, why are you looking for me? Your dad sent you... us. His, his dad's got smarts. This kid's, this kid's got none. No wonder he joined the cult. Uh, he's going to be so disappointed. 
uh, you, he'll be he'll, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, Vekin, uh, yeah. the hell. He once he sees who you who you guys are, he recognizes the voices. He kind of shoulder checks young Fargo into the room a bit and comes straight to you, Cesar, and embraces you. Oh, and he God. he looks like he has been he's been through it. Uh, I mean, he is he is cut up and and a black eye and is is beaten a bit. Um but he 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 definitely gives you uh a, a very thankful embrace. Um Bertram, you can see even though Fargo's next to you, you can see kind of someone trying to like corner peek. I was out. just about to say excuse me and I was about to step step through and take a make sure this is empty over here. Uh, it is, in fact, not empty. Um, but you step in and see, uh, just a whole passel of holy people, moly. oh, sh dirty, um, beaten, bruised. Uh, the one in the front, she's kind of holding the wall to keep herself up. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna gently start ushering people. All right. Nice, nice and slow. Take it easy. And as I'm like helping people out, I'm going to use lay on hands to give a hit point to each of them. I will also One, cast two, three, four, five, six. healing spirit and um, a cat will again reappear. All right, everybody, um, you're going to pet it twice. You're going to pass it along. Do, uh, do any of these... Um... Uh, effects that you're using uh, change exhaustion levels. Uh, healing mm, nope. spirit. Uh, you call forth a nature spirit to soothe the wounded. The intangible spirit appears in a space that's five foot cube. You see within range, the spirit looks like a transparent beast or a fae of your choice. Um, until the spell ends, you or a creature, you can hear. I think it's just healing. I don't think it's exhaustion. It, it specifically yeah. says if it cures exhaustion. Uh, yeah. that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. They will, they will gladly take the, 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 the few points. Um, Sir Vekin Im immediately seems to, to gather some of his strength. Um, and, uh, he, he looks at, uh, Yellowcrest dead on the ground and just spits in his direction. Um, who has the urn? That would be me. As, as far as I'm aware, since no one gave me a book. You put that in a bag or something. That's, I don't... Uh, <laughs> that's quite the, quite, quite the, quite the treasure you've got there. Good. Uh, good eye. But what was, wasn't there one more of you? He's, he got he had genie he, stuff. He, yeah. Like like you do. Um <laughs> yep. sure. The, we'll find uh, him another day. We'll we'll talk about it. We'll reminisce, you know. The, as uh, you would with the genie. This uh this this woman here moves over to the to the altar and drops to her knees, sobbing, uncontrollably sobbing. The other three I sees will... the other three see what's happening and and all kind of hug in tightly together. Yeah, I'll go through and try to comfort her. Yeah, I'll ask her yeah. her name. Uh, her name is Ashlyn. Um, this is what remains of of her family. Uh, they were they were part of a caravan and they were attacked uh, several days ago and and brought here and. Um, maybe an hour or so ago Celia was uh, was taken out of the cell and they didn't know what happened to her but this oh. is definitely her remains hmm. uh, let's let's get you all out of here mm -hmm. I okay. I don't see any reason to keep you all down here. No. 
All right. So you guys want to head back to green fast? Um, yeah. Is there anything yeah. out there? Uh, buddy, for the sake of time, mm -hmm. go down here. Is there anything down here? Uh, there is. Yeah, there's an empty chest. Oh, damn it. Just reveal the whole map. I, I, I'm t no, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, there's an empty chest and then stairs down into the lower More levels. stairs down. Okay. Um, there's other stairs down up north also. Um, well, there's, there's also... There was there was a, a, a cell and... So as oh, you guys geez. are working as you guys are working this out, Vecan will tell you that the the holding cells are in the lower level, and that after a little bit of uh, a little bit of convincing, that Yeda managed to talk Young Fargo into helping them escape, and they managed to lay down the uh, the few cultists that were in the in the basement uh but they say that last night uh, there were there were had been a lot more people here and many of them left in the overnight uh many. did you Hold guys it. fight a, a, something with a beak and a brain and tentacles it kind of looks i'll point out but they're kind of like looking like that but a little more like parody uh n no no but we've been we've been in that that little room and, and we heard all this ruckus out here we were just trying to be quiet and we, we were able to regather our things and we were just hoping that it was going to be quiet enough that we could get the hell out of here well then let's get y'all the hell out of here yeah i'm gonna head downstairs just take a lap around make sure there's nothing down there and nobody got missed that kind of thing uh you find a number of of slain cultists uh and you find that Grell that has two hit points left. I'm just gonna point at it and just be like, "You stay over there." Uh, it, it will, yeah, it will, it will not approach you. Uh, All right. DM, what was the name of the mayor's sister again? Yeda. Yeda. Okay. It's one of those damn double uh, vowel things. Thanks, Watsy. Right. Uh, she was the one who was sacrificed, or not? No, the the one who was oh. sacrificed was Celia. Um, Celia, okay. My permission. Okay. C save settings. C save settings. Um, so you should see now that she is, uh, the one who is suffering from severe exhaustion. Ah, okay. Um. You know what's really strange? The uh, the map has not been updating. There we go. That was really weird. It's like my window went to sleep. Weird. Um, uh, sorry, stream. That's what everything looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, do you guys want to head back toward Greenfast with everyone? Yes. Yes. On the way, uh, they will they'll kind of fill you in on on the story of things. Um, for just for like flavor, can I use shatter on like the remains of the tower that we leave to just like crumble it down to just you you for flavor you could try, but you know that uh, it is far larger than your shatter will be able to. I mean, I would just like. Burn the slots just to bring it down. I mean, uh, I I'm seeing you've what got he's shatter. doing. I've got erupting earth and hell yeah. <laughs> um, I've also got uh, wrath of nature. So, I are love, you sure I, you guys aren't being affected by the books? Because wow, yeah. I mean, I love where you're going, but this is not flavor that we need. All right, uh, we'll keep going. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm trying to get. Everybody out of here. Uh, alive. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay. So you guys make it back to uh to Greenfast. 
and they they fill you in on on pretty much anything you need filling in on the way on. Um, after you guys had met him in Waterdeep, Vecan decided that you know if this was a lead about um, about Sarah and the rest of the Yellowcrests, that he would he would go try to find find out what was going on. <laughs> And he wound up being captured at the same time as the caravan of people. Um, the mayor's sister, Yeda, she, um, as she got further in, she discovered kind of the real depth of um, uh, just how depraved everything was getting. And, and she tried to stand up and, and fight back on that. And Vialis put her in a cell. And so she has been there for quite some time. That sucks. Leading to the the extreme exhaustion that she has. Um the mayor, I will carry her on my back from the tower if that's how exhausted she is. Sure, yeah, she has four levels, so Ooh. she's two levels away from dead. <laughs> yeah. Um the uh uh Fargo, young Fargo started kind of seeing how rough things were becoming there and, and that they were taking people and that never set quite right with him but he was trying to stick it out and and see if it really was for the greater good uh, but the, the, the questions in his mind was enough that that Yeda and Vecan were able to bring him back to his senses as it were um, he doesn't speak much on the way home He he seems seems very ashamed of his choices um very very quiet and remorseful about them um and so you guys cover the couple of hours it takes to get back to greenfast the uh the mayor is beside herself happy that that you have brought her sister back and and they again they tell the story and Yeda goes into great detail the actions of Lord Vialis and the burnt tongue cult and the the simple folk of, of Greenfast and a couple of other smaller neighboring communities are are shocked that that they could have allowed something like that to to grow and fester uh, under their noses uh, the mayor gives her assurance to you that they will immediately undertake the process of clearing out the site and making what restitution they can to the Vialis' victims and collapse the tower to forever seal off the entrance to the temple. And it, it, it seems to not just be words. I mean, as she's speaking, folks are they're going and they're getting their crude weapons, uh, their stone cutting implements and I mean they're they're gearing up to go today to um to 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 finish this out um old Fargo he he sees young Fargo at, at a distance and and young Fargo just just kind of won't come over to him but old Fargo still comes to up to all of you and just with tears in his cheeks um thanks you for for bringing his son back and he tells you that anytime that you want to come through Greenfast and drink or eat or stay at the Bulging Cauldron that it is it is gratis it is on him and he profusely shakes all of your hands just again and again and again thank you I'm sorry that we couldn't do much more You've, you've done enough. You've, you saved all of these people, and and who knows how many more. I'll go to Young Fargo and just like, don't, don't be too hard on yourself, son. It's uh, forgiveness can be hard to accept, and especially for yourself, but. Holding on to all of that is just is just going to continue to poison you. I, you just 
it's going to be hard, but it, you just have to accept what's happened and, and just move on from there and just accept the love that people have for you. He, uh, he, he listens and, and, and he nods. And, and as you've been, as you've been speaking, old Fargo has, has kind of come up behind you and to the side and fucking stabs you. No, um, <laughs> he, uh, young Fargo looks up and sees him and he looks at you and then he slowly, you know, embraces his, his, his father. And it's a very touching moment. Um, but you have set things right in green fast. Uh, during the, the, the walk back, um, Sir Vekin got a good look at, um, at that urn, Alexander, that you have, and realize the names that are on it, and and has been a little bit, a little bit somber, a little bit silent. Um, what? Uh, um. What are your intentions with with that? Take it to Candle oh. Keep, give him a proper burial, a ceremony. Uh, if there's anything going on with these runes up here, probably dispel it in some ways, but make sure that the remains are taken care of properly. Do we do we need to take them all the way to Candle Keep? Is there any reason why we couldn't put them the rest here? I understand what you're saying about the runes. That's not a bad idea. I, uh, we might have to. I was I was hoping maybe they could they could go home to Waterdeep. I mean, what what was the name of that one guy we visited before we met the Lord here? I I am sure he would let us release the ashes at home. Of course, he would. He's well, a freak. Well, he looks at you very <laughs> strangely. Are there? There are a, a good number of, of, of perfectly suitable cemeteries. Um, I think that maybe just near where where Sarah, and he has a, a just a catch in his throat, and he pushes through. Uh, maybe maybe near where Sarah is would be nice. Yeah. Um, would, would you I like think, that honor then? Yeah, I think like... we could turn these over. I I. I would suggest having a, a priest or a cleric just look this over and make sure that it is doesn't have any residual magic or curses or anything on it, but have them do that before opening it. Yeah. I Well he, he looks like at something... it and he says, Well you, you you know I'm a paladin. Oh. Uh these oh. are these these are simply uh these these runes are, they talk about the the outer planes, but uh, I believe he was using this as a focus, which that is sick maybe even maybe even more perverse than all of the things he has done. Yeah, no, you should probably take these from me because you're all worried about me with the books. You don't realize I do things with dead people. So take this from me. Go ahead. Why? What? With what? No. Uh, all right. He he will he will begrudgingly and and very shaky handed take them, uh, and and he will freezing Alexander. Please. <laughs> they talk through me. We all know this. This is how we met. Uh, Tarot. Shush. As, Actually, as, as the ones who got this done, maybe this should not be my honor alone. I, I, I would, I would love it if you would accompany me to Waterdeep, and and help me spread these. We can uh, see that done. Yes, yeah. one last, yeah. one last thing. We can do that. Should uh, we go now? Yeah, let's. I mean, we're yeah, already there's... on our way to Waterdeep. Yeah. Are we all um, in condition to travel? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's just a, just a little more than a day. Um, so you guys could stay the night. Uh, uh, Old Fargo definitely, um, you know, makes the the bulging cauldron available for for food and drink and celebration and and for sleeping. All right. Uh, dur during the night, I'm going to go through every single one of those papers that we grabbed that included all the deeds and everything and sort them out. Okay. Um, with the intention of giving the deeds over to the businesses themselves. You, uh, after sorting through them, you find that a, a number of them are just kind of you know, Pollyanna bubkus, uh, but you do find the the deeds to the businesses that Lord Vialis owns in or owned uh, in Waterdeep, and you are uh, able to get. There's must be some sort of notary in the town. You're able to get them uh, reassigned to uh, to show that the uh, the person running the business is now the rightful owner, and no longer will uh, be needed to pay any tithe to someone else. You can absolutely get that done. Definitely. That's what I want to do. Um, as you guys are, are, are working on that, the question does come up of, of Feral. Yeah, where the heck is that guy? You Did you see someone down there? Uh, the, the, the elf taxman? Should have a big red hat. He would have gotten another one. He looked too pompous with it so there's no way he would go more than two hours without it i'm really surprised he let careless keep it for so long um young fargo says that the that, that feral did uh come to the the tower briefly and then left again he he assumed that he had come back uh to Greenfast. left again has anyone in Greenfast seen him no, you ask ask around, kind of at the at the party. No one, yeah. no one's seen him since uh, he came in with you guys, and then he rode out, you know, nearly immediately while you guys were having breakfast. This butthead, where did he get off to? Who's got locate creature? <laughs> um, any <laughs> any other things you guys need to do in Greenfast? I don't think so. Okay, no, just right. rest for the rest of the night. You, um, the, the four of you and Sir Vecan, uh, set off in the morning toward water deep, uh, and you, you travel, you know, all day you camp the night. Um, I will say it, it is very nice to see the sky and the, the phenomenon back to normal. Um, no more weird artifacts of strange summonings. That's good to know. Um, mm -hmm. then the next morning you make it to water deep with no with no issues, um, and Servekin leads you into the area known as the City of the Dead, and you know it's where lots of cemeteries are. They're kind of so many cemeteries grew together, they just made a whole area, like the Trades Ward. This is just an area of um, of cemeteries, and it is called the City of the Dead. And he brings you to where Sarah uh, is interred. I'm going to uh, pull out Sarah's diary and place it in front of, I guess, her name plaque, mm -hmm. um, opening it to the first legible diary entry mm -hmm. that was still good. Okay. Um, and I will, like, try to bring her out of the book. Sarah. Okay. Yeah, the um, the the form that that you're all familiar with of her seeming to be just in in kind of rage and anguish uh, appears slightly softened, um, and and she she sees all of you and she sees Vecan, and you know he he again is is trying to hold it together, maybe not doing such a good job, and and he's standing there with the urn and. He's just shaking a bit. Um, I'll do the funeral rites 
And I'll say to Vecan, uh, uh, funerals are a time for tears. So what you feel now is right and natural and to keep them in is a disservice to the memories of your loved ones. Okay. And and then you'll you'll take the urn from him and spread the ashes. Spread the ashes, uh say um some kind words over them. Uh and like make sure that uh like it's a proper ceremony for them. The spectral forms begin to appear of Lady Maria and Malik and Janice and Tiana. And Sarah's ghost in seeing them changes. She's no longer racked with anguish and fear as she had been. She, um, her appearance goes back to the, the normal appearance that you would think that she would have had, uh, when she was still living. The, um, Seemingly, the connection to the diary has been broken. The um, the the five of them stand and look at each other, and then they all turn and look at you, and they give a slight smile, and then they just disappear. They vanish, their forms scattering like flower petals in the wind. And now it's just the five of you there. I'll pick the book back up, close it, and put it back in my bag. Okay. Sir Vecan is quiet for a long time. With, with evil like this still around, and people still in need of help, perhaps I need to rethink my retirement. Fairly After all, there, still out there. there are cultists who were sent out and escaped before you arrived. Uh, Feral is still out there. Perhaps they need to be paid a visit for their own safety, of course. I, I can never repay you for what you've done. But know that I will never forget you, and I will tell your tales wherever I venture. If you leave out Carolus, that'd be hilarious for all, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time in, in in a couple of days, you hear a genuine belly laugh from him, and he, he he embraces all of you and then turns to leave the cemetery. Anything uh, else it, in Waterdeep? Yeah, I want to make one quick stop at, uh, what was it called, the Rose and Thorn? Rose and buckle. buckle. Oh, your yeah, order way. should be done by now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I want to go to the Rose and Buckle. Um, I am going to make sure to have all of the um, the uh, deeds and documents with me when I do it. And uh, if they're all in that area, I want to deliver them as I can. Yeah, mo most of them are. They all certainly know each other and and can can distribute them to the other businesses. All right, and then I will uh, personally deliver the rose, the one for the rose and buckle. Uh, roll a d6. You get a land deed, and you get a land deed. A three. Uh, the door to the rose and buckle is locked. Um, there's a closed sign in the window. Um, one of his neighbors tells you that that he's been gone for a few days um, after the after all the stuff that went down in town. He was uh, a little bit afraid since he had been his shop had been right at the middle of it. Um, but but Raphael never stays gone for long. He uh, he certainly expects him back. I uh, yeah. If you see him or or could get word to him that it is safe to return um and that uh if he could send word to candlekeep i 
Uh, is it, I mean, Keed, is it safe to leave that with someone or do you want to hold on to it? Uh, Are you talking about the deed? Yeah. Uh, again, the his neighbor is also one of the... Um, the mm-hmm. aforementioned it had been a, 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 a Vialis business, so he would definitely be fine. offer to to give them to to Raphael when he got back. Yeah, uh, could you make sure he gets this? Um, Abs- and absolutely. hopefully, the order that I had placed for everything happened gets delivered. <sighs> if you could ask him about that, have him send word. Absolutely, I would appreciate it. Thank you. I, I I don't I don't know what to say. Uh, you were you were all so generous. Thank thank you. Thank you. Good good business to you. Um. Okay. Any other business in Waterdeep? Booking a ship home. Yeah. <laughs> you you yeah. guys are you're able to secure passage once again on the Dead Reckoning. Um, the trip passes uneventfully allowing all of you to have some well-earned rest um as you delve further into the if you delve further into the books that you have there there's some really depraved stuff in here and you're you're so glad that you have not left this out in the world anywhere Mm -hmm. um the um the trip passes you guys make it back to port and are able to to grab a a wagon the rest of the way back to Candlekeep. Uh, and as you enter the gates, you are told that um, Master Sage Thomas is waiting for you in the tavern. The tavern, not her. Yeah, not her office? let's. Yeah, well, let's you're, go. You're not her office. No, she's in the tavern. And we'll go right there. Yep. yep. <laughs> Uh, you, you go in and she's sitting at the bar with a, with a drink and sees you all and her face genuinely lights up and she, uh, she leads you all over to your, your private room and waits for one of you to open the door. I'll open it. Open it. Um, (laughs) she, she makes a sign and the the drinks and, and food and, and, and all are delivered. And then the servant leaves and. The door is closed, and she looks at all of you. Well, how did things go? I notice you're one fewer than you were, and one more than you were. I just changed my appearance before we got here (laughs) to hide from people. do you have ins- in- D20 inspiration? I do. And I will cast Disguise Self on myself to just blend in with what was ever going to happen. No, no, no. Not- I, I was going to give you inspiration if you didn't have it. Uh, that was choice. Uh, she She's just beside herself with laughter. Um, well, how did everything else go? Uh, that is the most depressing mission we've ever been on. Um, yeah, but we got a couple doozies <laughs> here for you. Let me tell you, and we'll dump out the books <laughs> on the table. Mm-hmm. You guys got depressed on that? What? Why? Uh, she looks at Alexander, and, she, and then she's like, "Jesus, another one." Uh, y- yeah. Yes. And she, uh, she, she reaches back into into her her bag of of holding there and. She promptly pulls out the the five thousand gold pieces uh, that was the agreed upon price for the book of the uh, retribution of the ancients and for justice uh, for Sarah, and then an additional five hundred on top of that to cover your expenses. For the rest of the books, she spends a few minutes just in silence and disgust, looking at them. And she will, uh, she'll look at you with, with heavy eyes. Uh, well, I will certainly take the rest of these, um, for, for 3000. These are things that cannot be 
let from the bowels of Candlekeep for anyone to read ever. I'm perfectly fine with that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, I hope someone's accounting because I'm not writing this down. Nope, I got you. Um, I do. I do. <laughs> oh, Key, uh, this uh, this arrived for you um, uh, just uh, uh, just a few days ago. Um, I'm popping something into our chat. Um, the um, uh, she points to, in the corner. There's a, a small chest and a letter attached. Uh, to the top of it. Um, and I just sent you the text for that. So you can read it. You can read it aloud. It is up to you. Uh, I will read it aloud. Keed, thank you for your order and for protecting me that day from Farrell. I received a note from the mayor of Greenfast explaining everything that happened and that now I was the owner of my own shop. Beckon dropped by to confirm this and to see how we are all doing. I don't have the words to express my gratitude. I hope I have done you proud with these bags. Thanks, thanks, and ever thanks. Raphael, owner of the Rose and Buckle. And so you, you open the chest and inside are the bags that you would that you had ordered uh, they're masterfully crafted and absolutely beautiful um maybe maybe the best work that that you one of the best sets of bags you've ever seen i will start strapping them on um thomas looks at all of you it seems as though you've all made quite a good mark on water deep which is a nice change from some of the letters I receive about you all. And she has a big grin on her face. <laughs> you got we, letters about we, me? We, we know how to be stealthy, uh, to, to fly under the radar, as it were. She's uh, joyful with all of you for a moment and, and very proud. And then her mood and demeanor turns very serious. Things here are still very tense. Um... It is believed that forces within the walls are still working against Candlekeep. But who and how many and to what end are still in the dark? Things have been relatively quiet in the three weeks that you've been gone, which has made some of my colleagues nervous about keeping you here. I trust you, but we are all under scrutiny. Be vigilant, and maybe a little nicer than normal. If you see or hear anything suspicious, tell me immediately. We'll Understood. Do. That's fair. Yeah. I would try our very best to be nicer to all the nerds. I mean wizards. And as <laughs> a big smile comes across her face, the scene draws out and fades to black. Thank you all. All of you, my players, my players who aren't here. Thank you, all the viewers who stuck with us. I know this one was a little longer than normal, but there was a lot to, a lot to feed in there. Um, I, I can't tell you how much fun this is to, to run and to play with all of you and to do this for all of you out there to watch us make fools of ourselves. <laughs>